morning. It's late, but we're starting the show really late, and I'm bringing it to you no matter what. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, we're only starting about an hour, an hour, an hour and a half late. It ain't bad. So we really got to bring the noise, guys, because you know that we would have had 200 people here tonight, but instead we're going to have probably, if we're lucky, we're going to have 100 people watching tonight. If we're lucky, we'll have 100. Because you know that about 100 to 150 people fell asleep because they're like, oh, there's no show. I'm going to go pass out now. So we got to make all the noise that we can with this many people, guys. I'm like a band that's on tour. And I go to a show, and normally there's 100 to 300 to 400 people. But, uh, you know, we're in Arkansas, Dingleberry land somewhere. And only about, you know... 19 or 28 people show up to that particular show and so they've got to be the loudest motherfuckers ever to make the band really you know feel pretty good so that's what you guys got to do tonight in the chat you've got to make it feel really good and really hard so do all you can tonight to do it because you know 100 people fell asleep last week monetize this last week was one of the craziest monetize this is of the year it was like an old school monetize this we had leah on here acting like a drunken valley girl like she was gonna have an orgasm with luke it was very bizarre very bizarre so hop on the discord if you want to be there if you want to donate tonight feel free to do it do it early because that will uh boost the show up the donation link is pinned to the top of the chat uh, you can also super chat if you want to become a member. And if you're brand new, subscribe. Taylor Swift's a whore. No, I'm just kidding. We're talking about Taylor Swift making out with Kelsey. I can't believe they're 30-something years old. Anyway, this is Monetize This. Bear with me. We're starting in just a few minutes. Just want to come on and give this sort of like pep talk. We got uh, we got all kinds of crazy stuff to do tonight. If for some reason, I, I was fucked up all week from drinking last week on the show. I got loaded on this show last week. I know that my wife was hammered herself, but I got loaded on this show last uh, last week. And I'm telling you, bro, I felt it all week long to the point where today I was I was dead from work today. I was up at like 6 a.m. And I'm telling you, dude, I, I just I finally woke up about like 45 minutes ago from being like dead. So here I am. We got UFC on out of the corner of my eye. I see that going down. There's a bunch of football to talk about tomorrow. We're just Everything's on the table. I don't know how long the show's going to be tonight. You know, maybe it'll only be a little while, a couple hours show. Or maybe we'll get crazy. We'll go really late. But what I do know is last week was great. I listened to it, and I, I was able to listen to it. That's how I know it was pretty good. I was able to go back and listen to it. So thanks for everybody for last week. Uh, let's start... Uh, I'm done with my intro. All right. Uh, we're going to start this show officially in about five, eight minutes. Enjoy. I'll be back in about five minutes and we'll get this thing really rolling. Let's go old school with uh, Justin Bailey's rendition of Monetize This circa 2016. it 
What a throwback from Justin Bailey, the former co-host of Monetize This. Rest in peace, JB. Forever. Can I take Tommy's thought on monetize it for that? Justin Bailey and all your other friends can dish it out. I can dish it right back. Oh, yeah. I like this guy. All right. Well, guess what? I raped your mother. <laughs> Whoa. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Episode of Dragon Ball, and she's shitting on my two favorite things, you know, my place where I live and my fucking favorite jump? show ever. Dude, what am I supposed to do your... there? Oh, wait, wait, Luke, 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 Luke. Listen, listen. The reason that I said that is because while that mm-hmm. all is the case and is true, you still talked to a woman for over an hour just now. And, and Luke, women, right? for good women, older women love me. I mean, I'm gonna just tell a the only like only thing you have in response is to say. Your thing's gayer. <laughs> like you can't. It's not like you're just gonna sound like a bitch either way. So <laughs> your thing's got more dick than my thing. Any chance to have boys tomorrow? You. Leah, like honey, honey, you shouldn't say shit like that. It's funny. But if I sh- if I showed up every time somebody some every time somebody said something about me that I didn't like, I'd be here every fucking week. I don't care what other people say about me. I show up when I fucking want to. If that isn't obvious by now, you're fucking stupid. It is. It is pretty obvious that you have a content and a hatred for the show, and I understand. No, listen, no, well, you can well, twist it, 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 you want. Don't, 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 don't back out now. Don't back right, out now and hatred. say you don't hate the show. Don't back really? out now and don't say you don't hate the show. It's pretty obvious that you like to kind Did of talk down to the show. Did I yeah, say you, that? You can. You Move can. Well, you can just. You, Oh my god. Listen, yeah, you can just it. prove it from the way you're like your attitude what? towards the show. I don't listen, I get it. Hating the show is perfectly fine to me. You got guys like fucking mm-hmm. nerdy who are hateable as it is. No, I think I, oh I think my someone god. needs I have someone shit needs to turn down their I probably shit on nerdy. Listen, listen, listen. I've probably shit on nerdy more than I've shit on like anybody else. 
Yeah, well. and I love it. You know what? And I don't he's take... still here because he actually knows how to take a fucking joke. And I, I know. You know let me tell you cool. something. What am I no. not doing? Literally, everybody no. every you week calls me a fat me. Honey, you no. keep screaming what? at me. Everybody not here screaming you. at you. you I'm are. not you're screaming at loud. you. My, my, my microphone very is loud. very loud. My microphone are, is very your, loud. Your voice is more high pitched than mine is. Okay? <laughs> so oh, oh, calm down. For are you a insulting moment. me for being a homosexual? Because that's not funny anymore in 2023. Are you a homosexual? Listen, you, you, should progress, you should be progressive. <laughs> you should be progressive. Oh, but well, I listen, am. Be you better. See, what be, the better thing is, be better. Be better, honey. You don't have to insult me. You don't have to insult me. I'm not me insulting you. I swear you to God, don't you are because you're attacking me, saying that I shit on the show, and I don't. I show but up you're when attacking I can. Me. I do it. Okay, but I'm still talking. So anyway, you were attacking have... me though. Okay, but anyway, so. But you I were attacking have... me, right? You were attacking me. Can you admit that? I'll attack you all day. It doesn't matter. <laughs> can you admit oh. that you were attacking me instead of pretending that you weren't so that you can win this argument that I don't really, sure, really care about? Sure, if that makes you happy. Hey, why don't I do what, why don't I do what you will, do? Why don't I do what you do and just I don't care about things? Seconds, can I, oh, can well, I that, you don't like being no, cut I off because I get cut off all the time. I listen, can. buddy. Okay. Listen, honey. Listen, I honey. Listen, buddy. I <laughs> this is this is fun and all, but listen, I'm going to just do what you say and say I don't care about anything so I can win every argument in my head. I don't care. I don't care. Oh my god, they don't care. What are you fucking Omar? Oh my god, the WWE does not care. They do not care anymore. <laughs> Listen, honey, you can pretend not to care all you want. I don't really give a shit. Fact is, I'm the champion, and I'm not really that pissed off. I can tell that you are because you keep coming after me, and then you keep saying, "Can I talk?" When I've been cut off twenty hundred twenty twenty thousand times on this fucking yeah, show. So listen, why don't you just take a chill pill? Why don't you just take a chill pill, relax, realize that I don't hate you, no. despite what Jay Menace wants to say. I don't hate you, and none of this is serious, you know? Relax. I don't actually think you hate the show, you know? Calm I down. I never said that I thought you hate me. Well, you did say that. You said something similar along those lines, and I, maybe what I just I got say? that a person. You said something like, oh, like, you're attacking me. Like, I want you to know that I don't really, like, I don't, I don't think, think this that is serious. I don't think the same as hating me. Well, yeah. you could. Well, th maybe then. Maybe I misinterpreted, and I'm sorry. But I he slipped up and hey, said Bunker, the N word. Hey, what are you doing? Yeah. Yeah. Right? Yeah. 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 Go ahead, call go, me go the N word. We coming for you. Oh, oh, no, oh, oh, he better yeah, be coming for me. I want to get froggy, oh. but you, Jesus Christ. Leah, Leah, what do you rate bullfrog? Like you would just <laughs> just die. Yeah, to get you want to get froggy, me, Leah? <laughs> oh, I fucked with him one night. What? Yeah, Oh, oh, you did get him. froggy of me then. You I was fucking around with him, whatever. I was trying to get him to say whatever, whatever. But, uh. Yeah. What do you want me to say? Whatever, whatever. I don't think he was buying <laughs> it, though. I think he was actually, like, too smart that time and he, like, caught on to it. Hey, Joe. I am pretty smart. Hey, Joe. There are three of us, Joe. <laughs> there are three of us, Joe. <laughs> no, no. Me and my two brothers. Dude, that's been in my with all the people. <laughs> hey, don't use the R word. <laughs> we gotta find somebody has to tell me where that clip is of last week where or no, of a month ago now. Where where is that clip? I don't even know what episode it was. Dude, I can't even find the crack of Cassantes song thing for, for Ghost. But somewhere from weeks and weeks and weeks ago is the, the the thing where bullfrogs on the call and he goes there's three there's three of us joe <laughs> dude it like if you start listening from when he starts doing the frog voice and then someone else comes in and then luke is trying to do it too or somebody and it's ridiculous because you know obviously like one of the frogs sounds very real and the other ones don't really sound that good but they're all talking and when he goes there's three of us, Joe. <laughs> like, bro, I almost died. I heard that back again a day later or something, and I almost fucking collapsed. It was so funny to me. Um, but you have to listen to like the whole like you know ten minutes of him talking before the guys come on to really set it up to make it funnier. Like I don't know, but yeah, Luke and Leah, Luke and Leah, they had a fight last week that was probably went on too long, and you know. It was actually at some points it was hard to listen to, but at other times it was funny. So like it kind of was like, okay, I accepted it. I enjoyed Luke and Leah's battle from Monetize's 432 last week. 
And listen, you could say, well, Joe, you know, it's late and you came on here late. You know, you're supposed to start around 9, 30, 10, but tonight you're on at 11, you know, whatever. You could have just packed it in and, and, and gone to bed and whatever. Oh, well, you missed a week. But you know what? I want to get to that 500 episodes of Monetize This Before I Die. And if we're going to do that, we got to hit up every Saturday night, even if it's, you know, a shorter night, whatever the case may be. We've got to bring it every single Saturday night. So, guys, if you want to be on the show tonight, if you're out there and you want to be co-host tonight, well, I'm talking to the nerdies and the look Rojas and everybody else, then hop on the Discord whenever you want to. Um, I took a peek over there. I don't see anybody over there yet. But uh, feel free to jump over on the Discord at some point. I'll probably go to the Discord in the next 15 minutes or less, I'm going to bet, because it's so late. I just want to jump into this. Let's get this going. Taylor Swift's a whore. Uh, Vince McMahon is... Uh, Man, Vince McMahon is starting to look like a chiseled steroid photo. I don't know why that I'm I I don't know, man. You got UFC tonight, no one's dead yet. And then we get the NFL tomorrow. So those we're gonna go over we're gonna try to go over the NFL games. I don't know. We potentially might go over the NFL games, uh make the picks uh for tomorrow, tonight. Um and there's a couple other things too in the news that I wanted to mention. And I've had some clips on Twitter of some weird shit that we're going to bring up. So there's there's quite a few things going on tonight. I shit think. bomb. Oh shit. It's 69 time Joe will oh 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 my god. Ladies and gentlemen. Oh you scissor me daddy. Oh I will scissor you all night. Guys, it is the fucking OG. It is the man who's been around since before slavery. Broken lion baby. Holy shit. Guys, Broken Lion, are you kidding me? This guy's a friggin' OG. He's a friggin' OG. He's one of the uh, first $25 producers back in the day, too. Thank you, uh, Broken Lion. Holy shit, is it good to hear uh, from Broken Lion. What's up, baby? How you been? You been getting hard or, you know, you been getting weird? Fuck my ass. Fuck my ass. I, I just, just screamed. screamed. I just steamed. I'm shooting a laser beam. <laughs> I'm trying to drag all my um sound drops over my, my soundboard thing, but like they're not dropping in. And when I click play on them, they're not playing. It's so weird. It's weird, too, because this problem happened with my soundboard, and I fixed it a while ago. And now it's happening again. It's like, what do I got to delete it again and download it? Like, what the hell is going on with my soundboard? Oh, my God, bro. It's enraging. I had a whole soundboard, you know, all the good stuff. And now I'm going to have to reset it. And I don't, I'm not going to sit here and try to do it tonight. But I had sound clips I wanted to play. I am not freaking happy about this. What the fuck, bro? I had sound clips I wanted to play tonight. Ugh. <sighs> Unbelievable. What do you mean Casey's married? Casey's Raw is here. Uh, Moss Blaze, how you doing? Yeah, I mean, listen, I will say that when Leah was fighting Luke last week, I will say that I don't know why when my wife drinks that much, she puts on this, like, valley girl voice that I've never heard before. It's very bizarre. It's like she's, but only when she's, like, drink, like drinking heavily. She's like drinking heavily and fighting with Luke. And um, she just, I don't know, man. It's like this, like, she gets this condescending fucking voice. that I, She doesn't talk like that, really. Like, to me or anybody I know. But when she has a couple of drinks, bro, and she gets mad at, like, Luke or somebody, anybody, bro, I, I don't know, that, that, like, comes out. Like, this very, like, caddy... It's all, it's kind of like it turns it kind of turns me on like it's like oh like oh yeah what's going on here like what the fuck's happening like it's very it's crazy you heard it I'm smarter than Tommy we're just examining last week's fight with Luke and Leah before we 
really start the show here tonight. And plus, I'm starting late, so everybody's joining in. We got caught with football. People are coming in from that. The UFC, there's all kinds of stuff going on tonight. Hit that like button, guys. I'll help spread the word. And I'm impressed, bro, that we started this fucking late. We already have 147 people in here. We're starting this late. I'm, I'm impressed. You know what I mean? You got a kid ain't with the mother. You're a failure, my guy. What are you guys fighting? Is that Casey? Are you fighting with uh, Moss Blaze? What are you guys saying? I don't even know what you guys are saying to each other. Touchdown Ducks. There's a football team called the Ducks. Bro, the Bruins and the Canadians played tonight. That's I didn't even. I like. I'm not even. You know what I mean? I'm not even getting into that OT. At least we lost an OT, but, you know, losing to the Canadians is never fun. But the Bruins are 11-1-2, so Canadians are 7-5-2. and two. I'll take that over theirs, over their score. But still, Tony Khan is going to sign Angelo Saxon. Who the fuck is that? I don't even care. Anyway, let's continue examining the fight with Luke and Leah last week to open the show here. And uh, we also have uh, a couple other people joining us tonight. We have... Uh, Maxi's coming on. I think Mr. Pico Boulevard's coming on. Um, and uh, Luke Rojas is already in Discord. And I know uh, Nerdy just said he's going to be here at some point, too. So, yeah, I'm going to be going to the Discord in the next 5, 10 minutes anyway. So, that's perfectly good. That works out perfect. We're going to be going to Discord in just a second. Joined by a couple of special guests. Broken Lion, thank you for the donation, Broken Lion. And if we do crack a certain amount, I will... P I, if we do... If, if, if there is... If we crack 100 bucks... I will then unlock the shots. I will unlock the shots. If we crack 100 bucks, and then every $50, I will take a shot. Last week was a horrific week where I, <laughs> I did like 12, 15 shots or something last week. Last week, I was destroyed, okay? I was destroyed last week, which, hey, man, I invited it. But I, I'm telling you, I felt it all week. But I'll feel it again for that price. For that price, I'll feel it again. I'll feel it every day for what happened last week. It was fucking crazy. Okay? I'll do that. Y'all, every single monetize this, every day, whatever you want. Don't matter. I'll go nuts. But let's re let's continue to examine a little bit of uh, the fight with uh, Luke and Leah. There's three of us, Joe. Oh, my oh, God. Get frog, you have three. Uh, Bullfrog just sent me a message. Let me see if I can turn this up, guys. Guys, this is breaking news. The Bullfrog himself. He just sent us a message. Let's go listen to it. Here it is. Let's turn the volume up. If you click the like button, we can get to 69 likes, guys. There's three of us, Joe. I want to get froggy with three. Jesus Christ, you sick cunt. Like, what is wrong with you? Burned up my router. Right oh, my now. God. Every time somebody brings up Tommy, all I can think of is two things. One, that time that he, like, ripped ass and he was, like, cleaning up my system. <laughs> <laughs> and that time that he was like yeah and that time that he was like going on about like all this like sentimental stuff about his dad and in the background you can hear like one what is the chick i forget her name and she yeah, was like crystal this pizza yeah crystal oh, you're talking about crystal right and she goes this pizza is hot 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 <laughs> it fucking kills me. Jesus. she's heating up a pizza pizza she's like this pizza is hot hot and he's like my dad and like all this double my pizza is hot hot <laughs> the ashes of my father Super have just come out of the party. oven oh where did he keep my dad's oh, name oh, out of your mouth yeah, yeah. 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 kiss really cool. like button that never gets pushed Oh my god, oh my god. I forgot Lita, that you, whole clip. Like the did whole you see the clip? Oh, did god. you see the recent um the clip that Joe just me and him discovered it again? It was him like when he you remember oh. the belt he had? Like the plastic belt that he used to like always talk about, like the MTV's Don't made say or everything. Oh, yeah. Yeah. MTV's <laughs> Comedy Central well, champion. Hey, did you know what he, did you know what happened to that belt? <laughs> <laughs> Scissor me, Joe! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, relax, Bullfrog. Oh, this pizza's hot, hot, hot. That's fucked up. That is fucked up. Look, go back Leah, to the book. This is what I'm talking about, Leah. Like, you're making it Dreaming seem like anymore. we're just we're, you, but we're just going after word. you a little bit. We're just going after you a little bit, and yeah. you're like immediately jumping uh -huh. to the children defense. Like, don't you think right. that's weird? No, well, no but that, I, talk to you, though, but I wanted to talk to you, though, because right. I wanted to okay, say... Talk, but I scream to, at me more. Don't let me talk. Well, because you're always talking. Go back to the so book. I was the book. To say, talk, but you're just screaming. Okay. Okay. Can I wanted to ask you, 
Um, yes, that, no, not yes, ask. Yes. I wanted to tell you, listen, I'm sorry that the fight got so out of hand. And listen, I know you don't care what I have to say and you think I'm a piece of shit. And I, I accept I that. that. You want to fuck me, Leah? Well, well yeah. no, like, not... <laughs> You're you like didn't say that, but I just get like that. I get that general impression from you. Okay, from like if you way. think that about me, then fine. That's what you think about me. But I never called you a piece of shit. All right, I you know might. that you think I'm like an irritating asshole. I mean, I wish you would like instead of screaming at me, let me respond. It's this microphone. Like literally, I don't mean. To, I'm not trying to shout. It's you like this mic makes everything I say 25 times louder. Okay, but I've just tried stop to turn it down a little and let bit. me respond. That's okay. Okay. We're out here. We're having fun. All I was and... saying was like, if you want to shit on me for like not being here all the time for like belt defenses or whatever, that's fine. If you want to shit on me, but my reason for not being here is that one, I take care of this entire house. Two, I work. No, I'm gonna clip really all is. the things. I'm gonna Go clip ahead, all the things that me. you say that you didn't say, and I'm gonna send it to you, uh, even do. though you probably that's don't have me on any no social reason. media at all. Please do. <laughs> I will. I'll keep it all. You can, you can, right. all. You can find me and on Twitter. Just say you, Anybody, you can find me on Twitter. Anybody can find me on Twitter. You can go ahead and clip it and send to me. I'll be waiting. It's come tube, right? I will be waiting. <laughs> yes, <laughs> it's it's come tube. Oh my god, dude! There are so many things. When I went back and listened to, I would say that Leah and Luke went back and forth with each other for like an hour. Like I would say it was about an hour. About an hour of that fighting last week on Monetize This, 432. Um, Honestly, it felt longer. It, it, <laughs> it, it felt might, longer. It might have been longer, um, but I was... So there were a lot of things I noticed. First of all, like Luke just had these hilariously like background savage comments that I don't even know if she heard them. Like They were just great. But also how Leah transforms into this mean valley girl voice like when she's drinking she did right like everybody kept saying like that's the thing too and you'll notice this and joe like when i was saying the simping thing i was more just like that was a defense thing because literally everybody on the call just stopped started being like you don't mess with the leah don't mess with the leah monster like they're acting like she's like this fucking unbeatable like beast and shit that like oh don't you dare talk to her like that like i ain't even gonna get involved i'm making fun of jay menace if you can't okay tell. i was i was gonna say but, why does everybody sound black or whatever <laughs> what is it? But what I'm saying is, was like, I was like, dude, why are we all pretending like she's not talking like, hello, what is going on? Like, she was <laughs> doing that, right? <laughs> it was, it, I'll just say that I don't know what happens, but she transforms or something. It's very crazy. Like, but I, I, but she was loaded. So, I mean, you know. Well, yeah, she was loaded. I could, I could tell she was a bit drunk and, uh, well, I mean, great. I was smoking weed. I was smoking weed and I, and you were on you know, something, but something. I was on something, something myself. That's why I wanted to get off the show, and then we and then got instead distracted you just, when we started. You got off. You just, when we started talking about alpha or beta. Yeah, then you were like, ah, <laughs> ah let me tell you that. Million things. Ah, like you were like, <laughs> it's like okay, bro, we get it. You do crack. Um. Yeah, I was I was angry today though. I mean, I'm ready to fucking just throw something and punch a fucking hole in the wall. Right. No, wow. I can't. I, like, I don't yeah. even know what it is. I look at my fucking account and it's negative three hundred eleven dollars, and it's just ridiculous. I don't. I have no idea what tried to charge me, mm. and I can't get into my banking account because, for whatever reason, they're not like they they give me all the fucking things that I need. Like, oh, for whatever reason, we changed your password. Uh, password. So I go through the the email process of like, okay, well, here's a, a new password they're sending me. And I enter all of my shit that's proper, like everything that I need to enter, I enter. And then they tell me, oh, this app is unavailable at this time. So I can't even, I, like, I'm going to tell you right now, once all of this is resolved, I'm fucking canceling this bank account and just. I've done it. I don't know. This is you know what? So aggravating. What's crazy. So aggravating. I get it. And, you know, I remember when people would call the show years ago and say, like, oh, the bank and whatever. And I'd tell them, I'd be like, dude, I remember when that was every week. I'd be negative, you know? And, um, but from, dude, you know, what's weird is to be so shit, to be such a failure, you know, uh, what was I like 30 to be even a failure at what 30? Yeah. Even at 30, I was kind of a failure. Although, you know, YouTube was doing pretty decent at that time. It was starting to get good, but you know, it was pretty much kind of like, other than like being a father and stuff like that, everything else, you know, kind of a failure at everything. And you know, 
negative in the bank all the time every other couple of weeks and the stress of that and how stressful it is. So if I can say anything to anybody out there, if you don't have a family to take care of right now, like bro, just save money. Like get a get a good get the best job you can and save that money because fuck being ever have then you won't ever have to deal with that really later on unless you manage money terribly. You know what I mean? Like No, like, unless someone unless someone probably fucking hacks your account. Yeah, somebody might have done that. Th- that could have happened. I but, think that's what happened. Well, there's well, nothing I well, Luke, th- that's going on. $300. That's going on everywhere. Um, everybody, I know a ton of people that got the the notice of the bank account stuff. I got it too. I had to switch all my stuff. It was crazy. Um, this is like a well, a fraud thing that happened to all these banks everywhere, and it's involving a third party thing that all the all these smaller banks use. So if you have one of the smaller banks, that's typically what's been happening to people with smaller banks. I, I have a smaller one, so it's. Uh-huh. Just, it's this third and uh, yeah, clip that. It's this third party app or something that they're using that is the leak, and you should have gotten yeah, an email about well, it. My bank, my bank is also a piece of shit bank. Like it's not like it's they don't a piggy have. Bank. It's a piggy it's bank. It's a piggy bank. That's a piggy yeah. bank. Yeah. Uh, you kill yourself. No, but um, I think that no, nah. no, wait, no, we got to perfectly replicate replicate uh, Mr. Pico. You have to make sure that your mic clips while you're saying it, so it's like. It's a piggy, like whatever that fucking noise that, like that screeching noise that he makes. Mm. Yeah. Glad I brought it up. Anyway, um, it's all right. We gotta get. Yeah, we, fuck it. I'm just we'll get him a mic. Off, you know. We, no, I get it. Yeah, That's yeah. crazy. Three hundred bucks. I mean, you gotta call them tomorrow, right? Like, and figure out what the hell's going on. I don't know. You can't look at your they're withdrawal no, they're history. Not, they're you not gonna be. They're not gonna be open tomorrow. Oh yeah. Yeah. Well, no, know. it's. Oh yeah, they won't. You're right. But can you can you look at your withdrawal okay. history? Your transaction I history? Can't, I can't look at anything. I can't get to the mobile app. I like everything. I've tried to get back into my account, entered the password that I know is my password, enter the username that I know is my username, and then I've tried to change those things through my email. I've even tried to to reapply because maybe they deleted my thing. I don't know, and it won't let me get into the app. And I can't call anybody until Monday, so. I don't know. I'm pretty much fucking fucked, and it sucks, too. My bank too is down I... this weekend, too, so it might be multiple banks, dude. No, it's not that they're down this weekend. It's just, like, uh, okay. my bank my bank isn't open on Sundays. Yeah, no, no bank is. No, most banks yeah, are. Yeah. Okay, well, then, that, yeah, yeah, all it's the Unless the you're some rich, Sunday. you're, like, some Today was a rich holiday, Luke. Veterans Day, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sorry, I forgot that. That was yesterday, but fucking veteran. Yeah, I thought it was today. It was no. today. What? Today's what? Saturday. Yes. Really? I thought Veterans yeah, Day was on a Friday for some reason. I'm. Crazy. It's usually you celebrated know, on a Monday, but people just celebrate Veterans Day and Memorial Day and um, uh, Labor Day. They celebrate them like the whole weekend is the day. You know. I thought they were always on Mondays. Oh, I think they changed it. It doesn't fuck? matter. I'm not getting a fucking day off for it. I'm just working out Wawa like a piece of shit. doesn't matter. This country hates the vets now anyway. Yeah. You know what the veterans the veterans should always do? Is got, always got to turn into some like, always got to turn into like one of those, you know, country hates the vets anyway. Sound like an yeah. old fucking yep. <laughs> old man with yep. his capitalist be- act. I've become a old right-leaning capitalist like person like it's very bizarre i i can't you know what's annoying who am i i don't even know who i am anymore those types of guys by the way all the time they'll be like like at the store they'll be like oh man don't you, i miss it back in the day before and then they'll say some shit like before uh you could actually buy cigarettes or something yeah. like, or something like that and i'm like what do you mean by that and they're like well, you know i'm like no what do you mean they just miss the old, oh. old, old. <laughs> they, yeah, exactly. They're angry about nothing. Like, you, if you actually stop to question them, like what they mean, they don't know what the fuck they're angry about. Well, see, about. that's they're the just... thing. See, that's the thing. I feel like back in the day, they didn't know what they were angry about, but now they do. Like now, now you can actually be like, well, they're tearing down no, statues are... and they're putting up like there bullshit. There is things to be angry about. There is things to be angry about, but a lot of times those boomerish type guys complain yeah. about shit that it's like, shut the fuck up. Nobody cares. Yeah, they don't know. Like, Jesus. Like, like, like somebody takes two seconds extra on their app trying to like find their like their Apple Pay or whatever. Yeah. And then like the guy will be like, Yeah, I remember when people actually, you know, 
paid with money. Like, what, I feel what like they're doing right now. What I feel they're like doing right now. I'm becoming Archie Bunker. I feel like. You know, like I'm slowly you Archie Bunker looking ass, ass. Like, I'm, I'm, ass. Yeah, I, to, I I find myself find like the compliment. In it. <laughs> like I'm just dropping slurs on everybody about everything. I'm like I'm like let me tell you about you know these people, those people, the oh they're, they're, they're the the they the Jew haters. You know, like I'm calling like I'm just saying stuff about everybody. It's crazy. And you know what? I end I I feel like that too sometimes, and then I end up feeling like bad about it. I'm like I don't know why I said that. That was kind of mean. It's kind of mean what I said. <laughs> because I, I was pissed off at my Uber driver being like fucking super late. And I was like, yeah, look at this fucking guy's picture. Looks like he's from fucking, uh, fucking Baghdad, Fuckistan, fucking piece of shit. <laughs> and then I felt yeah, really bad about it. Like, what? What? <laughs> yeah, did you ever watch All in the Family? All in the Family? Yeah, you just mentioned Archie where's, Bunker. Where's the car crash sound? Yeah. Uh, here we go. <laughs> Dude, Pico, I love you. Uh, Luke, no, what's up, champion? About Archie Bunker, and then Luke went on his tangent, and then I came back to it. Well, yeah, All in the Family, is, I heard, is a good show, although I've never watched it because I'm not 77 years old. Um, but you are, Mr. Pico. You sound very old, at least. So, um, Pico, ahead, how old are you? I, I don't I'm know. Waiting for you, I'm waiting for you to elaborate on what you wanted to talk about for Family Ties. No. Or, I mean, All ties. in the Family. Close. Ball in no, the never, never mind now. I don't want a, a bullhorn in my ear. It's okay. Family, more like family news. Am I right? Uh, fam- uh, <laughs> anyway, <laughs> that was good times. That was called good. Times. But can you believe it, guys? Grand Theft Auto Six's trailer is coming in December. There's like I don't think I've ever seen a trailer be announced and previewed. You know what I mean? Like that's the first time I've ever seen that for a game. But I mean, it's. I think Grand Theft Auto 6 is kind of the exception where, like, that actually makes sense. Because this shit, you know, although people have been saying it's been in development for 10 years, it's more like, more realistically, it's been in development for 5 or 6. But, I mean, I'm just so fucking excited for this game, bro. I'm so excited. And I didn't get the chance to talk about it with Joe, because I had AIDS. Speaking of trailers, uh, Nerdy, any women this week you want to talk about? Um, no, no, no women to update. Uh, the blister in my mouth is healing, so that is good. Um, I prayed for you. Thank you, thank you. I think your prayers helped because it yeah. is healing. Um, no encounters with trailers. I'm trying to think. Um, we had some exciting news with the GOP debate. Uh, I'm sure. You say Joe, so. I thought it was really funny. Uh, Vivek Ramaswamy yelled at the moderators and that was funny uh we have some clips here but we'll, we can save those for later i also created toucher teacher or terrorist that we can play later tonight where you oh. where we can decide whether a person is a toucher a pedophile a teacher a professor or a terrorist hamas so that's what you were talking about in the chat i i thought you were asking which character should i play <laughs> A toucher, yes. teacher, or a terrorist. In GTA um, 6, I will have to decide which one I will play. They could all three be pedophiles. They could all be pedophiles. I mean, I... Yeah, yo, Lord Cosmo, yeah, I'm excited for it. Um, what I'm not excited for for GTA 6 is hopefully they don't try to do some stupid subtitle to the name because you'll notice that the way they phrase it is very strange where it's like the next Grand Theft Auto. So it might instead of being GTA Six, it might be like Grand Theft Auto, uh, Latin America. Yeah, Latin America or Grand Theft Auto Vice City Two or Grand Theft Auto. I think the working title for a while, um, when they were developing it, is uh, was Project Americas. Uh, just just call it GTA Six. That's what everybody knows it as already. That's what the media has been calling it. It's what investors are probably calling it it's what it, it literally markets itself like to call it something else i, I don't know it'd be weird I, i'm just happy that bud light didn't sponsor it and they're changing it to gay transgender assholes or something like that you know because okay. i wouldn't yeah. put it past them 
Well, everybody does think now that GTA is going to be woke or something because um, I actually don't know why. Because I think two, one or two trans jokes were like removed on like GTA Five Online on PS Five or whatever. Like a few trans jokes were removed, and now so since then everybody's like, "Oh, that's it, Grand, Grand Theft Auto woke." And they've got a female main character? Woke. Fucking SJWs. Like, the the people just, they just jump to conclusions, like, immediately. Um, Especially for something that's anticipated. Like, the amount of people that are saying, fucking, it's gonna be garbage, woke bullshit. Simply because there's a female main character. It's so frustrating, and it's also... Do these people think that they're helping the whole like anti anti SJW cause? If anything, they're making it worse because people are seeing those types of reactions and being like, "Oh, okay, so yeah, there is a bunch of just sexists and stuff." <laughs> like well, that know, doesn't do anything for your cause. <laughs> yeah, maybe maybe they're right. Maybe you know what? Maybe they're just sick and tired of Ghostbusters and fucking uh, whatever else. Kathleen Kennedy made gay and lame um, when womenly. Maybe they're just tired of it, you know, Luke? And I would agree with that. I like South Park's uh, take on Kathleen Kennedy where just (laughs) everybody was like, oh, okay, guys. It's not our fault that we're bad at our agility that we don't know how to do anything. Everything is Kathleen Kennedy's fault. And they blame (laughs) her for everything. Yeah, that's... um, starting to sound like honestly if you w- listen to those types of shows w- what was joe's show that he uh the guy who kept shitting on picard season three that he hated that guy it was like his name was like dick ass or something or dick ass i don't was what dick- was the guy who you said kept saying shit about um dick knight picard season three he kept saying it's like oh doom oh, doomcock kept- doomcock doom doomcock oh, okay doomcock, yeah dude he got g- doom gay dude he was doom yeah Guys like Doomcock are the people who just say everything is woke and do everything is just JW. Um, and they don't actually critique movies now or actually review movies. They just say, well, this movie's woke. And that, like, there's no real discussion put into the fucking film. No, he I'm really does getting all, sick of he that. Does all the rumor, he does all the rumor stuff. Like, insiders are saying the movie is this, that. And here's the thing. A lot of what he says is ends up, some of what he says ends up being true. And a lot of what he says is just his opinion, and he's probably going to be right. But, like, the fact that he just closed himself off on Picard's 3 irritated me so much that I was like, you know what? Because he just went with the narrative on it, no matter what. He didn't know if it was going to be good or what was going to happen, and all these people were saying it's different, and he just ignored it. So that's what made me start not liking him anymore, because I was like, bro, you're not even tr- even considering it. And it, reminded me right. of, it reminded me of Leah. Leah was doing that, and I'm like, no, I'm telling you, this guy... Terry, I'm he, I'm telling you, he's different, and he's taking over Star Trek. It's it's gonna be different. And Leah was like, "No fucking way!" And I'm not fucking watching. And like it, it and then you had to, then you had to buy her a a porn book, and she she did it. Yeah, mm-hmm. then she watched it because of that. Shatner's I like gonna- how she tried to argue with me last week about how I'm like, so you, it's porn. She's like, no, it's not porn. It's a little smutty. And I'm like, do they talk about dicks going inside of vaginas? And she's like, well, well, yes. I'm like, then that's porn. <laughs> that is porn. <laughs> There's no, yeah, it might sound fancy. They might put like a fucking unicorn on the front of the fucking logo of the book, but it's no, it's, it's even porn. weirder because it's like these fucking massively giant angel men people. Dude, Joe, I gotta tell you too. The uh, when she she came back and she was like, "Oh, Joe texted me. When am I gonna sit on his face?" You came back and you were like, oh, guys, I got to go. It's time to end the show. Uh, I'm not feeling That's good awful. or I'm tired. And she just called him out. She, she's like, I already told them what's going on. I thought that was yeah. hilarious. <laughs> well, I was hammered, so I, who knows what I was saying. <laughs> Dude, I was and right. Shatner's going to be here tomorrow night. Shatner. William Shatner's yeah. going to be here on, Monta- on like the show? <laughs> no, in Jacksonville, he's doing a, a screening of, I don't know, either two or three, whichever one was better. And then, like, meeting people and science shit. So. Are you going to report as a monetize this correspondent or what? No. Are you you are you are going? No. Oh. 
Uh, here comes tell, the ball. Tell him, tell him, oh my god. <laughs> tell him, be like, oh my god. Oh my god, oh, uh, William Shatner, please. William, I need your help. My wife's in a pool. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a lot of pools in Florida. Oh, terrible, said. Though. Honestly, that makes me like sad because, like, I although he is kind of stupid for not just going in the pool and getting her, it is like sad to think that while he's on that call, his wife is just doing under the fucking water, under the water, just fucking laying there dead. Brain EMT as she's dying, like looking up through the water as he's looking down on her on the phone. Why don't you just swim up, bitch? Jump What's sad up. is that car accident, uh, Joe? Do you hear about that? It killed the, uh, it killed four members of the Houston football team. And that one of them was the first round pick by the Raiders. He used to play for the what? Jaguars. A guy ran a red light and he killed himself and six people, and one hit a homeless person. He was drunk. Oh, damn. Yeah, damn, Mr. Sucked. Pico, you are like the king of just wow. out of nowhere topic changes. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> I played the one car second, crash like one second. Seconds. We're talking about one thing. <laughs> it's like rapid well, fire. Well, you bitch when I don't say anything, and then you bitch when I don't have content. So make up your mind. Uh oh, Mr. Pico's Ooh. getting upset. Hey, Mr. Pico, how does it feel? How does it feel to have everything you say picked apart? Um, <laughs> 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 Dude, DJ producer Nerdy is on it tonight. I'm coming hard, guys. Oh, that's uh, you. Oh, oh yeah. Good on you, hard, Nerdy. Dude. Honestly, I feel like everybody's a little low en energy today. You know, it was a fucking long day, and the stupid daylight savings bullshit made today feel like it was five or six hours longer than it actually was. Like I, I looked at the clock earlier. And I thought it was nine o'clock. I'm like, dude, it's not even fucking seven. I was I was really ready to swing. And then when I get when I fucking look at my bank account, some fucking bullshit, like negative thirty one dollars at my fucking ATM, or not negative thirty one, negative three hundred eleven dollars. Uh, like <laughs> today was not a good day for me. So, <laughs> did dude? I've made this mistake where I had like four dollars left in my checking and then like my srp or my energy bill gets taken out and i don't like i didn't time it right and then i go buy a drink for a dollar but because i didn't have enough money it was like nsfe of 35 dollars, so the drink is like 36 dollars. Mm -hmm. have you ever had that shit fucking oh. oh yeah dude it's like oh look i didn't have the money so now you're gonna charge me more money what the fuck kind <laughs> yeah. of like what the fuck is that yeah and yeah, doesn't i don't understand that shit like What's so stupid, yeah, like something would be $20 and you only have 17 and you try to buy it not knowing that you only have 17 and it, and it doesn't it doesn't cover it, but it doesn't buy it for you, but it still takes 17 or it still takes $20 out of your account. Like what sense does that make? Like I don't understand that shit cuz that at least my bank does that. Like they'll try to charge me for something that I didn't even realize that I owed and I don't have enough money to cover it. But you'd think if they're going to take money out of my account and make it in a negative money that I would at least get that thing paid for. But no, it doesn't. So, like, what the fuck? What did you charge me for? So or fucking stupid, bro. Fucking decline the transaction. That's what I didn't get. Like, why didn't my yeah. transaction decline when I was already in the negative? They said it charges so me money from you. dollars There's this massive sure. hack going on. I'm telling you, it's crazy. Like, like. I got a letter, Leah got a letter, and we and we're in separate accounts got letters, other people's got letters. I saw people at my work talking about it when I got in uh, to do paperwork this morning. There was someone I was like, Yeah, that's happening to everybody. Uh, so yeah, you gotta watch all your shit, dude. It's it's just crazy right now. Yeah, I got yeah. a text from my bank, uh, or it's claimed to be my bank saying there was a four hundred dollar charge. And uh, it was like, click this link to figure it out. And it was like asking for my login. Oh my information. god, you got fished, bro! Well, no, I didn't. I didn't. I didn't actually put any information in. But yeah, um, but you clicked the link, though, huh? He clicked the link, and it took him to fucking some sort of pedo site. 
No, it took me to my bank. It, it took me to what looked exactly like my bank's homepage, but I knew it wasn't. I, you know, I've been thinking about really like getting in a fight with PETA because I know like they're scary and kind of dangerous, but like they're so profile high profile. So I'm thinking of making a website called PETA Rapes Kids. Like and, and I'm, PETA pet. Yeah, PETA files or like PETA Rapes Kids. I think I think it's just PETA Rapes Kids dot com and it's like you know, just like an animal, <laughs> an animal's head, like, like on top of like a kid, you know what I mean? And it's called PETA rapes And like, I'll put a phone number up I'll put it all over Reddit and all over these places. And I'll just wait to see who calls. Like, do you have questions? Call us. Like, do you want to report an incident with PETA and officials? Call us, you know, whatever. And, and whoever calls and, and people will call, you know, trolls real people who knows you know then peter like peter will get pissed off too right because they'll get angry and they'll demand the site come down and they'll start flipping out and i'll and i'll well, just that's not what they'll do well they that's might. not what they'll do what you know what they they'll do? do well they do what they'll send somebody to, they'll send somebody to go look at your house and if they see that your dog is for whatever reason like in, in like the yard or whatever mm. they'll take your dog off of your yard or and then they'll put him down. <laughs> and they'll rape a kid. Like, I, which they've actually done before. No, really? There's been, cases, there's been cases where a guy's dog was on his porch and some fucking representative from PETA or whatever just took the dog off the porch and then the dog was put down. Dude, they're getting shot if they do that here. Like, I'm shooting them. Like, you, like if some person, I don't care what they're from, like some person from, I'm from PETA, I'm coming to take your dog, you're going to die. Bro, I hope you're ready to die, like for trying yeah, to take PETA, my dog. By the way, PETA loves to put down dogs and oh, cats. Yeah. Like they have, I think it's like more of a higher percentage rating of them killing animals than them actually saving any. But then they claim to be like animal like saviors. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely not cheaper to just kill the fuckers, you know. <laughs> right. Than actually having to find them homes and shelters. Right. Yeah. Listen. I, I got but my. Then they get mad at you. Then they get mad at you if you say kill two birds with one stone. Instead, you should say um, feed two birds with one scone. I know, dude. I I heard some. I've heard people say that like on sales calls and stuff, and I always laugh because I'm like, oh damn, like you fucking you evil bastard. Like, it's so weird. My mom said that too. You know. What was it? What was it? Um, because you read the whole list one time, and it was like. Instead of saying bringing home the bacon, it mm. should be bringing home the bagel. <laughs> <laughs> what you the fuck? So stupid. Well, I, I yeah, I'd love to eat the bagels, man. Listen, hey, uh, last week was crazy. Leah got in a fight with Luke. Um, the fucking, I got hammered. I was doing $20 for shots. That was a huge mistake. Now, I thought because I think it was like the week before or two weeks before or something, we did monetize this, and I, and I think there was like a total of like eighty dollars in donations. So I was like, "All right, you know, I'll do shots for twenty bucks." And I, I was like, "I got fucking destroyed last week. It was insane." Yeah, and then you said you weren't that messed up either. You're like, "I'm not really that bad, you know. I've just only had a few shots. I'm, I, I'm feeling good." And then there was just some. There was just at some point where you just mysteriously disappeared, and we stopped hearing from you. Probably because, probably because you had to keep putting your head in your hands and just being like, "Oh my god." I did fall. Oh. I, I fell asleep at one point for a few seconds. There was another time though. The real thing was I hadn't drank in so long that it was like I was having a. Like like I was on a drug or something, not alcohol. Because there was one point where I was upstairs, and in the corner of the wall, there was like a spider web or something. But then there was, I thought I saw a grasshopper. And I was like, what the fuck? It's really cold out. So I was staring into the corner. And rather than going up to it, right up to it to figure it out, I just stared at it and then like kept staring and was determined to find out if it was a grasshopper by staring at it from where I was without putting any effort into getting closer to it. And eventually, and I must have been stuck in a trance for like 15 minutes looking. It was very weird. And then after a little while, I went, you know what? I'll just go up to it. That's what I'll do. <laughs> you know. And so then I walked towards it, and it turned out to be just a piece of grass leaning up against the corner of the wall. And I was Did like, oh, I'm out of like my that? fucking mind, bro. 
What, what was that? There? <laughs> I will go up to it. And it just ran away. Yeah, that was the way that like my my brain was thinking and moving like last week because I was on shot number nine probably at that point, and I was just like, I'll go up to it. And well, then... there really is. <laughs> I'll go up to it. Um, <laughs> I have to. Like... I have to investigate. Um, there really is that point though when you're drinking that you're thinking like, dude, I've had like three, four shots. I'm not feeling anything. And then as soon as you have that one too many shot. All of a sudden, it just everything goes, and you feel, like, you feel like you got the whole fucking weight of the world on your shoulders. <laughs> right. Yeah. Like I, yeah, I, I knew that was gonna be a mistake because I thought you weren't gonna like. I thought you were gonna give up on it, but then when, I, when you kind of kept like looking at the stream and you were just guzzling shots down one after the other, I'm like, oh no, we're gonna have problems. Yeah, I was like, oh, oh my God, I might have to take like three or four or five shots. That's going to be a lot. And then somebody donated like 200 bucks or something. I don't remember. It was crazy. Well, well, go to hell. NBA player got hit by a car in Philadelphia an hour ago. What the fuck is going on with all these sports people getting hit and killed? He's okay. Kelly Oubre? You know what? I just want to say really quickly, I want to call Bullfrog a pathetic fat retard because... I just, like, dude, you're such a fucking sad person, Bullfrog. Fuck yourself, bro. Because he blocks me. Like, in a day sometimes, he'll block me and then unblock me and then block me, and he'll be like, don't ever talk to me again over nothing. He'll just say this randomly. He'll be like, Joe, keep my name out of your mouth. Like, And then he'll block me and be like, I'm gone forever, Joe. And like, I'm like, what? And then, like, three hours later, he's texting me, like, hey. Like, it's just like, bro, you are fucking wicked annoying at this point, Bullfrog. Like, I really do. I'm sorry. I started liking you a lot again and stuff like that. But I, I just got to tell you, after the last month or two of, like, block, unblock, your back, whatever, I hope you fall down a flight of stairs. All right? I hope you fall on your knees. Oh, Show. Oh What's your problem? Oh my God. What's your break. problem, you fat cunt? What the fuck is your problem? Well, I made on. you money, Joe. Fuck you, Joe. Now, Bullfrog, don't you, okay, I mean, Bullfrog, this is a pattern, though. I mean, jo, this has happened so many times. I mean, do you have any explanation for your actions? I'm watching Christmas music. You fat piece of shit, that's nothing. What does that even mean? Christmas music in in November. Snip my ass, Luke. Nah. What, what the hell, Wolf? Why, I'm why, the champion. Why do you want to have guy... sex with your brother's wife? That's the real question. There, there's three of us, Joe. There's three brothers. <laughs> there's three brothers. Oh my god! But you're the biggest one of all the brothers. You're the fattest one, right? I I, I block you, Joe. Piece of shit. No. Oh. Why is why are you treating why are you Estonian fuck? Why are you treating me like this? Why would you do that? Because you made fun of my brother. Tom told me. No. What's, with Don, what's, it, well, what's your brother's name? Donatello. No, Tommy told me. He told me oh, you're trolls, motherfucker. Oh my! Of course he told you my troll. They, they most of them are from oh, his okay, shit. Okay, yeah. Well, Where's Tommy now? Exactly. He's not here to explain himself. Dude, let me I'm tell better you. than Tommy. I make more money than Tommy. I hope, you know what? I hope exactly. Tommy, I hope Tommy gets trolled this week. I hope the worst shit. And you know why? Because whenever he does, I've had him send me voice messages before where he's furious. Where he's like, Joe, you fucking. Ah! Like, and he like screams at me and I don't say anything about it. But I'll tell you what, if it happens this week to him again and he gets trolled this week. And I hope it's bad. And I hope he go. I hope he sends me a voicemail that's insane. And I'll play it on the show if that's the case. And he's like, <laughs> "Listen, let's not play people's private voicemails because you know then they'll there'll be a whole can of worms that we're opening up on the show. But we I'll, should I'll, play I'll, him just. We should just play I'll, him freaking out on stream because it'd be funny. Um, but no, no, I'll, no. Uh, I want to oh, bulldoze over you. I hop in a pond with me, Luke. I want to get froggy. All right, Bullfrog. Bullfrog, you told me you were leaving like two day yesterday or two days ago, and now you're back. You're tweeting me. Like, I got to make your money, Joe. Well, I don't think you really do that anymore. I got to be honest. Like when you used to come on video and, 
you know, a couple years ago. And by the way, I remember I'm the biggest draw. Here's the thing I'll say about Bullfrog. And the other thing I'll say is, you know, when Bullfrog no, well, when Bullfrog came around at the time, there were people saying like, oh, the show's dead and now he's got this Bullfrog. That's stupid. It's pathetic and everything. And now it's like people love the Bullfrog stuff. <laughs> like they're like, oh, remember the Bullfrog? It's just funny, bro. It's whatever is going on at the time. Like, you know, like Dave and other people used to say that too back in the day. They'd be like, oh, Montage is no good anymore. Like f- episode 40. You know what I mean? Then he'd be like, oh, the montage is good, no good, no more. Episode 140. were swimming inside. Dave Rose's asshole. But now, you know, I, but people I, now I, long for you, Bullfrog. Oh, Joe, yeah. Joe, Dave Rose, uh, I forgot to mention, like, that's another thing that made you crack up last week was, like, me and Leo were arguing about, and I was like, you know what? This is the same thing he did to Dave Rose. You didn't like him. You got rid of him because you said you didn't like his pussy. <laughs> oh, yeah. Leah said something about, like, you don't like pussy. The way she said pussy last week, I almost wanted to. I got to clip the way she said it. It was something like that. She was like, you like my pussy or something? And I was like, whoa. Like, it was. I <laughs> said vagina. I remember that. You know what? Oh. So you're me, me, you're you're coming you to me and Joe. This is. This is- me getting into a fight with her though, like how many, how many fucking um, out of context clips did you get to jerk off to because well, that, of it? I, that's the what, problem. What's nerdy say? I haven't been able Look. to go through it yet, but it's going to be glorious when I get them. Joe, you've, right, got a, you've got a problem here. I think every week, like once or twice, I'm going to blame Bullfrog. No. Oh. Bullfrog hasn't been here for like 80 weeks in a row. Is it possible for you to just ask him to be on the show? He say yes, and I, then you don't say anything. I'm to on him. the show. I've, I've asked him, yeah, and he shows up. I'm uh, on I've the show. Him. He's right here. Yeah, what's like, up, Bullfrog? This is like the imposter. This is like the imposter Undertaker coming out to the WWE. I don't. I, I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't need pasta. Nerdy. Nerdy, listen. Don't fucking break kayfabe, or we'll find you. And we will hurt you. Yeah, Look, I'll, 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 I'll find your I'll find your ex girlfriend. I'll fuck her in front of you and her and her new husband. At least, and then I'll take and then I'll take a picture with the kids that that they have. <laughs> yeah, no, I don't like imposters. Yeah, I don't like imposter. Pasta's nasty. Like, I don't like imposters. I didn't like imposter. Pasta's nasty. <laughs> Dude, yeah, I will. Imposters. I will. If you, I swear to God, yeah. If you ruin it, I will ruin you. When when, when her kids. Graduate kindergarten. I will send you a picture of it when they graduate first grade. I will send you it. I will do everything when they, you know what I mean. They they go to computer class and they get a certificate. I'll send you a picture of it. And then when like they're talking about every, she, I'll, I'll, every happy post, I'll send it to you, and you'll hate yourself. No, yeah, Joe, when she Joe, murders them, he's gonna have depression. Sorry. Then you can send me that picture with their dead bodies hanging by the pool fence. Oh. They're oh gonna be my pool. You wanna get in my pool? Shit bomb. <laughs> Play donation. Get in my pool. Leah is queen. Matt Cologne, Leah is queen. Uh she was last week. I don't know about this week. Joe, I'm your queen, Joe. Oh. I mean, listen, listen. She is I mean she's I guess playing she's Diablo tonight people. with everybody. She's queen of people who like to jerk off to her voice. Please. Um and you know, I get that. But she and you know what? Uh, the picture that Joe took of her last week wasn't the most flattering picture of her, possibly because Joe's horrible at taking photographs. Like that, was, like that was a bad photo. Like she kept saying, like I look hot in that, but I'm like, dude, no, you don't. You like not not that you don't look attractive, but Joe could have fucking framed that. Well, no, we better. just ran out really <laughs> quickly. Like it was like we didn't really think about it too much. He was like, I'm gonna I'll hold the belt up so you can see I have it. And I'm like, okay. Yeah, that's always just, the excuse they make. That's always the excuse everybody makes. What? What do you? What, excuse of what? You know. Scissor me. Scissor me. Scissor me. Scissor me. Lord Cosmo! Gritty Dono. Monetize this is a better intro than in WWE combined. Ooh. 
damn, and I threw it together all cheaply and didn't finish it either. So there you go. Lord Cosmo. Yeah, I like the intro. Ninety nine nine nine. That's not the gritty one though. I think gritty is eight bucks. Yeah. Am I wrong about am I right? I think gritty, yeah. Bucks. If, Lord Cosmo though, thank you. That is the largest donation of the stream from Lord Cosmo. The new well, UFC interim heavyweight champion. Wait, who won? What? Tom Aspinall is the new. Oh UFC my God! Aspinall is that someone you take for like your headache or something? <laughs> <laughs> I like Aspinall. I like Aspinall. One it more quick. Great to have, it is great to have Bullfrog on the show, but like you know what I mean? Like, wait. Listen. Honestly, honestly, I do miss. The Tomster, as much as as much of an annoying fat tardy is. I'm better. I'm better at Tommy, motherfucker. How are you better okay. than him? Like in bed, or like at like getting diabetes, or like what do you mean? I'm I'm bigger. I'm better. I, I make more money than him. I sit oh. at home. You sit at home and make more money than him. He's like so, you collect more yeah. from the government. You collect more from Tommy uh, from the government than than he does, and so that's. Uh, I'm on welfare, Joe. Okay. Oh, oh dude, if, you know what would have killed me if he just said, "I'm eating for two. <laughs> so I'm, I'm like, eating for two. I'm eating. Well, Frog, have you have you sent any of your chicken nuggets back that were recalled? I know your I, your freezer is full of them. Wait a minute, I've got a gotta, bunch of those. I got I gotta save money. I'm gonna the dinosaur get them all. ones. Really? Those are the, I have yeah. those. They've yeah, they got recalled from pieces of metal. Yeah, it's my way, Joe. Oh my God, dude! It's when? my way. When? Because it's I, my way, my way or the highway. I haven't eaten them in in uh, I want to say three or four days, but like I ate them last week. Did they have metal in them last week? Yeah. Oh yeah, dude. Heavy metal. Yeah, protein. Well, I mean, oh, again, it's not. Again, it's not all of them. It's a certain amount, but they're just calling them. But it recalls. is the dinosaur yeah. ones. That's crazy. Like me and Finn ate them last week. Dude, just all, like a, all of a sudden, some... Finn all, all of a sudden Finn grows a third eye. Just throws up blood. Just have him swallow a spoon, send him to the ER, and then sue Tyson. You'll make tons of money, dude. Oh no, you can't do that. But yeah. you could probably break the spoon up and then make him swallow that. Ah, uh, yeah, I guess. Now well, he can't do it. Finn would have good. to do it. Finn would be the one who has to take the bullet, not you. Yeah, yeah the baby takes the bullet. <laughs> also, uh, Bullfrog, your uh, dog food and cat food is being recalled, so you might want to go to the hospital and get that checked out too, Bullfrog. I, I got to drive. I don't know how to drive. <laughs> you drive me crazy, Dad Joe. <laughs> Joe, what did you say? What did you say? The the baby you know, takes you love the bullet. Joe. The baby does what? The baby <laughs> takes the bullet. Yeah, the baby takes the bullet. It's the same thing that uh, Chris Benoit thought. Yeah, exactly. Uh, the baby took the bow flex. Imagine if for some. I was gonna, imagine if for no reason. Say... <laughs> Sorry. Go ahead, go ahead, Luke. I was gonna say Casey Anthony, but I I got nervous. I was like, everybody knows a Chris Benoit. <laughs> everybody likes a good old Chris Benoit joke, so I'll play it safe. Imagine if Benoit was so just deranged that. Right after he killed, you know, did everything that for no real reason he like it was just what the fuck? I don't know. It was I, like, how <laughs> dare you talk about Chris Benoit? Great wrestling, like hero. just any, any murder. I had a really, I had a really like surreal, like kind of creepy dream about like Benoit. It was like what I don't know. It was about me. Some people think about him way too much. I like never want to talk about Benoit, but a lot of people always want to talk about Benoit and think it's about him. In terms of, He's my I, I was thinking of the like literally the day he did what he did or whatever. Yeah. I was thinking of like you were there. just being like, you no, know, yeah, I was like outside of his house watching, and then I saw populace. I saw him walking out of his house. I'm like, what's going on, dude? And he was like being really cagey about it, and I'm like, like I don't know. It was so strange. It was a very strange, surreal dream. And the next thing Mom, you know, you were God. cutting your mother's pussy off. Yeah, and then all, of, like, all of a sudden, he put me in the crippler cross face. You know. Yeah, I could see it, and you save him. It's my birthday, Jonathan. So you what? became a a member. 
Jonathan Wood, ladies and gentlemen. He's a patron, too. Jonathan Wood, thank you for becoming a member. A member. You want to be a member, Tommy? So I'll kill your just family, seeing Tommy. The Benoit house. What? You know, just seeing that house and knowing, like, oh my God, what what a nice looking house, but to just know that something like really evil happened in there, something really sinister. Yeah. It's Shit just, bomb. It's hard to focus. Get when you What's see your the, opinion uh, on Undertaker having a Patreon, Joe? Yeah, I've already said this that it's kind of weird. I don't know, bro. I just find that really bad looking. Like, even though it, it, for whatever cause it is for. And for whatever reason, it just seems the guy's got like a hundred million dollars or something. Casey is raw. Thank you for the five dollars. Yeah, I just think it's a really rough look. I don't what, know. Undertaker has a Patreon. Yeah, like, but I mean, who doesn't? So, like, I mean, all these. I have like, a Patreon, Joe. It's, bro, these fucking celebrities all have Patreon. Like, Patreon originally was like, I don't know, dude. All I'm, anything I'm gonna say is just gonna sound bitter, but you know, it was for like oh, you know yeah. startup artists, whether you're a band. Uh, an artist of some kind, and you, you have a fan. Losers. You, have, you know, you losers. You have a fan base. You're a comedian. You know, you're people like me with a YouTube show and, and things like that, you know, and you want support and whatever else. But, like, you know, Undertaker to be on Patreon? Like, what the fuck? Yeah, yeah. Be yeah, dead. Don't Steve Austin doesn't have Patreon. He's too cool for that shit. It's well, just very Stone strange to me. Than Undertaker. I mean, Stone Cold uh, could terrible. probably use it. He could probably use the funding on his show. Did who listen, does he even have a podcast anymore? I used to love listening to Stone Cold's podcast. Now, none did, of these wrestlers, none of these wrestlers who had podcasts have podcasts anymore because either half of them are now wrestling again, or or they just gave up on it. Like Stone Cold, yeah, you're right. I liked his podcast. Yeah, and then for whatever reason, he just stopped doing. God damn, Mick, tell really me about like, the time I beat his ass. We're back here on Steve Austin. Yeah, it was is great. That, is dude. that you, Stone Cold? Is when that you? Called, you, know, when you called, dude, Stone Cold, when you called out Dean Ambrose for not being a real champ, that was one moment I don't think I'll ever forget from your podcast. And, dude, well, quite honestly, dude, I didn't really enjoy the WWE version of it much. I loved his real, you know, personal podcast that he had. That was the thing that was kick ass. You like, know, what was weird was hearing him, um, I don't know when it was. It was recently, though. He was, like, asking Cody Rose questions. or It was, like, a quick 60-second question thing or whatever. Um, and one of the questions was, like, what's the best Zelda game? <laughs> <laughs> well, let me Cody, ask you this. Cody what's goes, the best Zelda game? Because no, I played them goes, all. Cody goes, oh, Ocarina of Time. And then uh, uh, Stone Cold's like, nah, dude. It's Breath of the Wild. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> oh, man. That's funny. He would say Ocarina. Cody, you pussy. But, um, yeah, I would say at yeah, this that's point. Such safe, that's such a safe answer. That's like what everybody probably everybody says. Everybody would probably say you know? that. I, I, honestly, dude, to be honest, though, th those two are the, are the picks. I mean, everybody would say, uh, everyone would have said Ocarina if it wasn't for Breath of the Wild, because, dude, Breath of the Wild, even though I didn't really play it much, I watched Leah play it, and I just went, man, this, you can do everything. It's so well done, and then, the like, the new one that just came out, I mean, dude, it's a, an immersive, endless, open world for Zelda. It's just crazy that they were able to do it. It's so, yeah. it's, 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 like, people that like Skyrim, it's like, but Zelda went even further with it. Like, it's, yeah, I think it's, it's um, so good. It's, uh, Breath of the Wild, and then it's uh, Queers for the Kingdom, I believe, or Queers of the Kingdom. No, that's your household. The that's what. <laughs> well, no, Joe. It's like when people say, like people do it a lot, though. Like when people say, "Oh, what's the best, um, like what's the best wrestling pay per view of all time?" For example, and everybody's go to answer is always going to be WrestleMania 17, even if that's like your favorite answer. And that is legitimately your favorite pay per view. It is kind of like the stock go to answer. So I've noticed that with like certain games that are like GTA, bringing up GTA again. When people ask, like, what's your favorite GTA game? Most people say San Andreas. And I don't even think they mean it anymore. I think they just want to fit in. Like, oh, San Andreas, because otherwise people might say I'm a faggot. Well, I'll, I'll <laughs> tell you why. I can tell you why my, my favorite is San Andreas. And it's, it's because it's literally the one I played the most. Because. I wasn't, I'll be, I'm going to tell you, man, I was not an over-the-top GTA person. 
I played GTA a little bit here and there, and I kind of enjoyed it, but I didn't get into it big time. People played Vice City or whatever it was, and they were nuts before that or whatever, Liberty, like all these other ones. And I don't really think it wasn't until San Andreas that I was like, I bought it when it came out, right? And I played the shit out of it. So that's just the one that I fell in love with, almost like whatever Star Trek you see first is the one you like the most. So I always say San Andreas for the reason of that. It's not the first one I played, but it's the one I played the most. And because it was the first one that I put a lot of time into for once, even the recent ones, look at the recent ones that came out. I, I, I think I got them and what I streamed them for like a, a, a week and then I was I stopped playing, and I always said that like if I was younger, dude, GTA, I would have been a, probably a rich fourteen year old GTA streamer, if I if they had GTA when I was like thirteen, fourteen, because I would have gone well, nuts with that game. If see to me like I played San Andreas after playing four and after playing five, and I think it ruined the experience for me because I do not like San Andreas. Like I've tried to get into it multiple times. It's really like the the stuff that like, yeah, I like the fact that there's a lot of side activities that you can do, but I feel like people make it seem like, oh, well, you can you can go and work for a restaurant or you can go to the gym. All those things end up being just kind of monotonous fucking mini games that you don't even want to do anyway. Like, they, just they're like fun. He, you're just they're fun for two minutes. You can't live out your dream of going to schools and shooting them up in that version. Whereas in the third no, one, no. You can. <laughs> but like that's but like the core gameplay stuff, the the <laughs> shooting, the, the gunplay and stuff, the the targeting system, the cover system, the fucking driving, like the graphics, everything was improved in Grand Theft Auto Four and Grand Theft Auto Five. But there's still people who'll be like, that was a step down, honestly. And it's pure like nostalgia, you know, just pure nostalgia. And it, it just frustrates me that well, people just like let their love of a game from 10 years ago or let their like blind nostalgia for a game and actually say like, no, this is legitimately a better, like you, objectively you gotta give, it's a better game. It's it's really hard to get through the nostalgia, but you're right. It is the, it, a lot of it. A lot of times it's nostalgia because it's just, it's the first burn in right of your brain. It's like, it's like, yeah. it's like Halo when they, when they come out with, I remember thinking this even when Reach and Halo 5 were out. Now I have nostalgia for those. Even though even though like I'll ha always have the most nostalgia for Halo 1, 2 and 3 and maybe Reach 2, but it's like they you get it for everything. If you play something enough, right? And you start to have an enjoyment with it and you play it enough, it it, it may it just takes longer to to realize that you have nostalgia for it cuz you can't have that nostalgia until years and years and years have passed. So in the moment you're like Mom. Oh, this ain't. I don't have the same feeling as the other stuff. Of course you don't, because you because you 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 have layers on layers that aren't fair to judge it against the other thing. Like it's like when I you know when we watch things, movies and TV shows sometimes, and I say, yeah, it's not really fair because I have this nostalgia. So you're never gonna be able to compete with that. Like you're just not gonna be able to compete with the fact that my nostalgia has made the thing even better over the years. Yeah, so, dumbass. Compete with my nostalgia, bitch. You, you can't, can't do it. Well, I, 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 the yeah. Nostalgia, I understand. Like, yeah, if you if, like, if something is your favorite, personally, personal favorite, like, objective truth is never going to beat that. But it's the people that I see, like, on Reddit and stuff, and people just, like, shitting on GTA Five and be like, honestly, bro, San Andreas is a way better game. And I'm like, you just think, it, and I'm like, dude, you don't even play, first of all, Half of these people who say that haven't played San Andreas in like 10 years. And then the people who do play San Andreas, like that they fucking suck it off all the time, probably play like two or three missions and then they quit the game. Because that's what, that's what a lot of people do. They go, wow, I have such nostalgia for this game. And then you play it for like an hour and then you get bored. And you're like, oh, yeah. Dude, this this, yeah, this, this, has, been, this has been <laughs> happening to me when I would put in Diablo 2. It's like I played Diablo 2 so much back in the day. And I loved it so much. And I, dude, there's so many items that never dropped for me. So, like, I have this excitement of, like, I'm going to log into Diablo 2 and I'm going to try to whatever. And I log into Diablo 2 and I, after a little bit, I go, you know what? I don't want to play this anymore. It's yeah. very weird because I think from the year 2000 to 2005, it's like I would always want to put that back in and play it and all these other things. And now it's like, I'm like, no, I have the nostalgia for Diablo 3. I put, I want to play Diablo 3 and Diablo 4, and I, I don't go back 
really to Diablo 2 other than when the the remake of it came out I wanted to see what it would look like and it was actually really good but like I couldn't get into it I stopped playing after like, I got to level like 15 18 and then I was like um all right, I'm going to go back to Diablo 3 and it's like but I remember when Diablo 3 felt like a, a failure like and it and I'll, I'll just go back to yeah. Diablo 2 so it's just funny how that always takes over let's yeah. um play a donation I'm sorry but it's also funny I've been sorry. going to wrestling shows for oh, over there's 30 Tony years. Gunn. Never in all that time have I ever felt until last Sunday that my security, my safety, my life was in danger life. at a wrestling show. What a show. pussy. What a pussy. Um, Tony, <laughs> Tony Khan, on paper, I should be good for life money-wise. I make something a year, 22 years of age. I'm going to, for a master's in nursing school, and I have a 720s credit score, but my only flaw is that I love brands and I spend recklessly. Well, I love toes. Why don't you love the JCS brand, brand enough to fucking, like, what the fuck? I love toes. We are introducing a new JCS shirt line. Uh, yeah. Merch. Hey, guys, Joe I'm rich. Here, I'm rich as fuck. Here's $3. What yeah. the fuck? I love toes. I'm sorry, but, I love like, toes. how rich why do you, you say you are you spending all your money on brands? No. Yeah, why are you buying you brands? On, what does that even mean? You should spending your money on feet picks. Oh, he said I make forty five thousand dollars a year. I see what he's saying. That's not a lot. I thought okay. he was. I thought he was saying something like. He if was, he's a dink, do you, or if he's a solo income, or he's solo, no kids, then he's that's that's some pretty like good solo Sokoa. I, I made um, <laughs> what did I make? Okay, so I made um, but you know t today's the year for today's the year two thousand twenty three, when I was twenty two. What year was it? It was 2006. I was not making 45K when I was 20. In the, okay, in the year 2007, I was 23. And yeah, I made... I was on my... I was actually going to make about $60,000, but the but the um, tweeter closed. So the, the, the company I worked for closed. But I had made $30,000 in like four months or something. So I was it was crazy. But then they the, literally the company went out of business. And it was like, oh, and then I, ne I always, I made 40, I never made more than $40,000 ever. So the fact that he's making 45,000 at 22, that's actually, I mean, that's pretty good. But 45,000 nowadays is like 30,000 when I was a kid or when I was that age. Hey, Joe, hey, Joe, do you hear about, um, you hear about that football player that got into a car crash and killed that whole family? <laughs> yeah. I said, thank you to him and hung up the phone. <laughs> <laughs> Was this during the craft show? I love Henry Ruggs. <laughs> oh, come you on. Want to some good news? Bullfrog, would you ever get into a car and run over, like, a nursery? You fucking nursery. Yeah, why not? I don't know how to drive, Joe. That's exactly right. Who cares? And you know what? Well, it, it, by the way, just it, like Tommy. And you know what? If you don't make it there in order to do the deed, you know, Bullfrog, I'm you can you can just run random people over. Like you know, what I mean, it's it's the year two thousand twenty-three. Run you over, Joe. Go, well, Yo, I don't no, know. You, I don't think so. The, I don't know. If, Bullfrog, his feet if only the Tommy head. was here. If only Tommy was here to school you. Bullfrog's the only Tommy's one that could scared. literally pull out a. a I'm gonna a, get froggy with Tommy. You could. Tommy's put, my best friend. Bullfrog would put in the GPS how to get the, the GPS would be like. Take a right, you know, and he would still get lost or crash. That's what's fucked up. Can you imagine I the, that? I want the GPS to take me to McDonald's, Joe. Yeah, Bullfrog's reading ability. <laughs> Bullfrog's reading ability. <laughs> <laughs> oh! It's, oh, it's, it's, it's a Welsh. I'm kind of fat. It's a D Welsh. Derailment. I'm kind of fat. Monetize that. Buy me a mask, buy me a mask, buy me a mask. Do you have 150 bucks? Buy wow. me a mask. Would you please buy me a mask? 100. Buy me a mask. Come call me MC, and I'm gonna monetize that. I gotta get a shot out. Buy me a mask. Buy me a mask. Buy me a mask. Buy me a mask. A pyroclastic flow. I don't like blacks. Pyroclastic flow. I don't like blacks. Ask me that. Ask me this. Monetize that. Monetize that. Can I get a mask? Come call me MC. I'm fat. I'm fat. Can I get a mask? Joe, one hundred dollars unlocks the shots. Fifty dollars start drinking, asshole. Oh boy! Oh, fuck! Unlock the shots. Yeah, party. Well. I mean, you're, 
Does that you mean since you unlock the shot, you have to take a shot for that? I'm gonna fuck you guys. Is a shot? Let's go. Yeah, we're gonna lock that shot, brother. So is it two shots or is it one? I'm confused. It's one shot. He unlocked the shots and now it's one shot. Oh, okay. So yeah. fifty dollars is what you need for one shot. Okay, I get it. Fifty bucks for a shot. One hundred to unlock the shots. Hell yeah. Yeah. Unlock the shot. Well, it's a good thing that that nobody's gonna donate more money for you to drink. Well, look what happened. Look what, what look what happened last week. I don't think that'll happen no. this week. But. He well said he got a raise. So. Let's just all say like the opposite of what we really want to happen. Ladies and gentlemen, you know, the first shot of the night, courtesy of D. Welsh's raise. Ah! Oh, Joe. I'm going to fall you out. <laughs> oh, my God. I, I honestly didn't think I, <clears throat> I honestly didn't think I'd have to be doing shots tonight. But here we go. That's number one. Coach alcoholism gets like really, really bad because every week he's doing the shots thing. <laughs> oh yeah, baby, that's just one. Maybe only be one, but that's okay. One is nice. One is just like yeah, or maybe two. Like one is like okay, and then two is like mm, getting warm, and then that's fine right there. You know, that's fine right there. But what happened last week was I think what did I t did anybody count what I did last week? Was it thirteen or twelve or? I'll be honest, I, I lost track when Luke and Leah started to have their dildo fights. That Dude, was hilarious. Their fight was great. I, I was actually, at one point, I went I jumped in the shower for 10 minutes. And so I brought my, <laughs> I had my phone up there, and I was laughing my ass off. And, like, Leah was so drunk that, like, Luke could have said anything, and she was, like, almost believing it. So it was kind of funny. Like, he was like, well, you know, Joe shouldn't have said that about you, but whatever. And she's, like, like kind of like... Still trying to fight with him, but also like, what did he say? Like, like this is yeah. Looks uh, like you you can't raise your kids right, and she's like, I'm gonna fucking call ice on you. Pretty well. Cool. Well, I only did that after she started gaslighting me and saying things like, "Oh, I never said that." When she clearly did, like two minutes prior, like when she said the new, she said first of all, like that, that people who like Dragon Ball are like gay. Like she said all of this, and then when I said, "I'm like, I guess well, you I'm know, gay." When you're the one who went after it, and she's like, when did I say that? And I'm like, dude, that's like exactly like the typical woman thing to do in an argument is to start gaslighting you and pretending like, oh, I never did that. Are you like, is this like a fantasy within your mind? <laughs> well, no, dude, let me tell you I don't something. Lie for I got to tell you, bro, I've had a lot of arguments with her and her and her and somebody that used to be here um, who has crooked teeth. Um she they are so similar with how they fight they they literally will try to sort of like talk quiet like to piss you off so that you lose your mind and then they also just like they'll just never they'll talk circles around shit it's crazy yeah. it's like a it, oh my iq is 160 well that doesn't mean you fucking really know what the fuck you're talking about it really doesn't one of the thousands of times they came i'm back telling you bro around. like her like she is the like I've met, I've now met two people who are similar but on different sides of the political spectrum. It's so bizarre. How bizarre? How bizarre? Do hey, do 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 and slap her armpit hair. She didn't That's stretch fun. enough before scissoring her girlfriend. Yeah, stretch something. Megan, hey, Megan, a rape a hoe. Get out of the country, you cunt. Scissor me, Joe. Scissor me, daddy. I have a question, Please. Joe. Since you're, you're, um, you already took your shot, or whatever. And there's a quite a few alcoholics on this call. Um, <laughs> I was, I was watching a video with the late great Matthew Perry. Um. All right. Was he, he was, in, was it one of the videos where he's like suffering? <laughs> yeah. Was he swimming was in a hot tub? There was a video that he was doing on CNN or whatever. He was having some sort of debate with like somebody, and the guy who he was debating was saying that alcohol, alcoholism is not a disease; it's a choice. And Matthew Perry is like, um, I've there's seen. so many things that prove that it's actually a disease, and it's this and, <laughs> and like. 
time he's saying he's like yes the f- if you can choose to have the first drink or not but once you have that first drink then it's pretty much you have no control and yeah. like i'm thinking so <laughs> literally you're making the choice to have the first drink when you know you have an alcohol problem yeah, I, so he, like he really did <laughs> i've heard this clip and he did not know what he was talking about it was like no it, it's like no it turns into a disease in a way but like it, it but it's still it's still your what was that that's just a cop out that whole disease yeah thing. the whole disease thing is a cop out because they always they all do that like oh it's a disease well, you can blame it on yeah, genetics no you let me tell like, you something it's can. not a disease you're a fucking disease okay yeah that's well, what it's, 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 it's genetics literally you're going to the store you are going to the store you are going for the liquor section. You are picking up a bottle of booze. You are going to the register. You are fiddling with your wallet looking for money, and you're giving it to the guy, and then you're taking those that booze, you're taking it home, and you're opening it up and drinking it. You're doing that all. That is a, a whole conscious thing. You're not a fucking like, oh, the alcohol just takes over my mind, and I become like a zombie. Because then you have this problem with alcohol. But, yeah, because disease actually isn't a choice. Yeah, yeah like you just exactly you choose. It's... You choose. You choose to drink, and when you do that, you need to take responsibility for it. Don't act like oh, it's out of my hands. I mean, <laughs> I didn't want to get into the car when I was drunk. It was out of my <laughs> hands. I mean, <laughs> I'm not going to take any responsibility for that. You listen, and but you then, can, and you can have a vice, and you can have something that you got to do. But when you go off the deep end with it, it's still on you. You do that with marijuana. Is that a disease? You do that with eating too much uh, fucking foods and shit like that. Is that a disease? You do right. that with other drugs. Is that a disease? It's like how come only alcoholism? Yeah, I'm not eating the words thrown around so freely. And if you talk to any of these people, like who are going for programs or whatever, and when they're told it's a disease, they'll say like, "Oh, it's well, just because it's a disease doesn't mean it's an excuse." I'm like, well, yeah, it kind of does because anytime you relapse or fuck up, you can just say this disease yeah. is so. Eric tough. always, uh, Eric always diverts the conversation to wrestling. Does that mean he has a disease? <laughs> yeah, he's got disease of rest. He's re- the wrestling minded. D Welsh is going up on the board as the top dono because like he's a you. sex beast. Okay, Eric, I like almost. that. I had the disease, but like, think about how like self it is, selfish it is of people who are like mm-hmm. sitting there acting they really have a disease because they like to get high or they like to get drunk and then there's like little kids in fucking hospital beds like suffering <laughs> leukemia or suffering like suffering yeah. horrible fucking yeah. Yeah. oh you've disease. got a disease just like them <laughs> yeah. yeah and people well I drank a lot and then I did I got cirrhosis of the liver yeah cause you're a fucking cool. idiot <laughs> Maybe if you didn't like, like, there's some people who actually use like their, I don't know, their alcohol problem as a way to like victim victimize themselves or make themselves feel like. Well, you that's can't the re- whole problem with the whole disease theory is that's what exactly what it does. It takes their responsibility out of the fucking equation, which is right. why all that shit doesn't work. Like I was talking to somebody on on like the YouTube comments or whatever, and they're like. Um, no offense, but you wouldn't be able to relate to me because I I actually had to go through heroin withdrawal, and so until you have to deal with something like that, you have no uh, bearing on this oh subject. I'm like, it takes five I'm like, days. Yeah, I'm sorry, I was stupid enough to take the fucking drug that everybody knows is bad for you. <laughs> like, is like sex addiction a thing? Because like, if that's the thing, then jagging off, then consider me full pandemic. Well, yeah, sex yeah. sex addiction is a yeah. disease. You but didn't you know called that. it an addiction. You didn't call it a sex disease. That's the difference. An addiction is one thing. Addiction. Well, that's, addiction that's, that's, I'm not trying even to. Even addiction, like, it's got the word dick in it. See, there's no fucking winning here. Yeah. It if does, going, depending how you spell it. If you're going through an addiction, you should get help. Like, I, I'm not saying, like, there isn't, <laughs> like, a and that alcohol isn't extremely addictive and that even like i could definitely become addicted to it but for me to for you to sit there and say it's a disease when there's people who are actually suffering diseases that they have pretty much no control of you're like I, like i nobody do you think somebody like sitting in a fucking cancer ward is just like you know what i'm tired funny. of that i've never admitted it doesn't define me luke 
I never admitted this to you guys, but I do too have a disease. Um, when I see baseball oh, cards, boy. I have to buy them at Target. Oh, um, I oh that's it. Oh, that's a for years. I'm sorry I haven't told you guys this. It's a disease that really hurts yeah. a lot. I know you said baseball baseball cards, but I don't know why. But I I I heard for some reason like ball sack parts. And I was like, wow. Oh, dude, uh, yeah. Yeah. Dude, that's what he had to fucking take oh up. Oh, my God. Jesus support. Christ. Didn't anyone see Jesse's head just now? Oh, shit. No, uh, go back and look. Oh, go look I want to come on this forehead. Look at the screen. <laughs> look at the screen, dude. Uh, Jesse's head pixelated. Jesse's, Jesse's head pixelated, and it looked like his head expanded all the way out, and it looked insane. Uh-huh. Oh, my dude, God, my bro. screen, it looks yeah, like he has a crack on my dick. Jesse's got like a... Star David or something on his fucking forehead. <laughs> Glitched out again. Jesse kind of looks like he's got a boy band haircut, you know? Very I, like. Yeah, I can see it. Okay. When, when Jesse looks to the left, it looks like there's the like the fucking thing that they do rituals, uh, a li- on his forehead. Maybe it's just a pixelation. Like a it looks like my Dude, it's good to see you though, Jesse. Your hair looks great. Whole minute, yeah. we should call it a whole minute. People awkwardly trying to get a joke off, but it all fails. <laughs> <laughs> really, just sad, just Dude, sad Eric. attempts. <laughs> well, Eric, which wrestler does Jesse look like? Oh, uh, Jesus Christ, he does look like a wrestler, bro. Uh, um. <laughs> is that is that fucking English or retard? What the fuck did you say? That was smart. <laughs> Smart, smart thinking, nerdy. Way to make yourself feel better about about your failed joke, or ma- and make me feel better about mine. You just go to Eric. Look, I want. Oh, dude, know, that's always the go-to. I, I love Eric, dude. Despite what you know, Eric, you you love us, right? Oh boy, oh, yeah. how we hate you, Eric. Oh. You make us feel better about ourselves, and, and the session's that's, different. All yeah, right, let me let me ask Eric a really important question. Eric, you see a naked female tied up, and uh, and she and she begs you to kill her, but next to her is a small animal that's about to be crushed by spikes. Um, and there's a kid crying for the dog. Um, it's, it's a dog, and there's and a kid crying for the dog. One of them. And you can only save one of them. Which one do you save? Save the girl, bro. <laughs> okay. What you would let that poor dog die? You let Eric? the dog die. It's an animal. I mean, fuck it. He's gonna shoot himself. Yeah, fuck it. <laughs> yeah, but the girl is a whore. The girl could. could get it. Now here's the, the other girl thing. Could end up cancer. The dog just on the damn the How about this? You find a naked girl dead, but she just died just a few minutes ago, and you couldn't save her, and the world is ended. Do you fuck the corpse? And she's really hot. Necrophilia. And she's got chlamydia. Eric, do you do you stick yeah, it in the corpse? Yeah, I would do that. Yeah, I would do that. Yeah, I would do that. Necrophilia. <laughs> dude, no hesitation, dude. I dude, love... straight up, man. He's fucking, he's, fuck, that's already like on his list somewhere. Like, fuck a corpse before I don't. Yeah, I'd do that. Well, Eric would fuck a zombie. I would... like, does it happen <laughs> at the end of the world? I mean, do yeah. I have to wait that now, long? That'd be scary. If, if they turn into a zombie right as you're Imagine... fucking them. Yeah. It'd be, it'd be a little scary. Has Eric wants a mushy pussy. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck, bullfrog? Mushy pussy? What the hell's going on? Actually, he should stiffen up in no time. About oh, minutes. he laughed. He doesn't like was, pussy pussy. Whenever we talk about him, he takes off right after it. It's the weirdest thing. And he Eric's a whore. I, I, I want to Eric know. know that we're not shitting on him. We're all having fun. We love you, Eric. Yeah, yeah, we're I would have. And by the way, my I, I would do it too. That's my yeah. answer. I would have done it. I would do it too, Eric. I would stick it in the fuck it. Like it, she's dead. Just, I didn't do it. The world's over. You do it. It was a hot, a hot blonde woman. I would. Oh, dude. A dead. Corpse. I'd be mm. so excited. Like I wouldn't know what to do. You know, because you'd be trying to get as many nut, and as many in as you could before the body started. You know, really getting nasty. Eric's like, but yeah, do I get to kill her or how does she die? Nah, you oh wait till God. the rigor mortis sets in so she fucking tightens up on you. Well, mm. this is 
new version of Alpha or Beta. It's called um, whatever the fuck comes Maybe up to her. Oh, what if her bowel is um, empty too? That's kind of gross. Yeah, ah, that'll be already. That'll happen immediately. You'll be fine. Just smooth that right out of the way. Last week we all had a um, we all had to make lists basically of what women we did? found the most active in WWE history. Oh, now kind right. of a similar question, but it's one that I think um, is a bit Not different. Doing Top ten Who? dead people. Or... Oh wow, Mr. Pico's really he's a real homophobe. Anyway, um, Maybe. which woman it's has me. the who has the best ass in professional wrestling? Okay. Mm. Roman Reigns. Oh. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Rio, where for relief? Um, uh, no, Alexa Bliss or hmm. Bailey. Those are the only Who's two. Who's that right? blue haired bitch? Like, cause that's the only good thing she's got. I think she's an AEW. Yeah. She's 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 got got Everybody Who like here? Tony Storm. Mm-hmm. I like big E's. I like with some chocolate. Bailey's Jesus. ass is insanely big. Like it, I feel like it gets bigger every time. Bailey is getting it. insanely big. Have you seen it? Like it's crazy. That's good. <laughs> Tony Storm is looking hotter to me. I don't know why. Yeah, yeah but you like a you know what? No, Bailey doesn't look big. She just looks really like thrumpy, like kind of um. That's good. She looks kind of sad, almost. <laughs> she looks like a mom who had three kids already. Yeah. yeah. Like soccer your mom ass. Tommy like NC twenty ten has the best ass in wrestling. Change my mind. Jesus, Christ. you asshole! Can you imagine <laughs> how big Bailey is going to be if she has a kid? Dude. She does Dude, look like she already did, to be honest. But just Carmel just like, did. Maybe she drove to Tijuana and coat hangered it. Oh. Ew. She's starting she's, to look like, I can't gain another pound fucking slice. You know, I'm surprised they didn't make that a match. Like, coat hanger on a pole match or something. Mm-hmm. Abortion on a pole, hell yeah. Do this. Imagine that they get oh. two women who have oh dude see there's the storyline the two women are pregnant and they're in a fight in the back and she goes you know what why don't you put your baby on the line and we'll have a coat hanger <laughs> match and yeah. so whichever woman pulls the coat hanger down performs the abortion on the other one oh, and Snitsky's the referee oh my First god dude this would kill in WCW AEW stillborn new paper. <laughs> 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 no, sounds like a squirrel. Oh my god! I'm gonna... <laughs> oh my god! Can you believe it? We're just one hour away from stillborn. AEW stillborn. <laughs> it's a big announcement. This it's week. almost, ladies and gentlemen. I want to welcome you to the one-hour kickoff show, the buy-in on YouTube tonight. Two women. One of them will leave without a child anymore in the center of an all-elite wrestling ring. Tonight, at All In, there's one life form that's going to be all out <laughs> at AEW Stillborn. That's fuck. Check out the results on AEW Dynamite this Wednesday. Are you playing that song or not? I just had that on. Oh, I'll be so good. AEW still. <laughs> yeah, AEW still born. There's some potential there. AEW still born. Dude, did you play that music? One's got to go. Yes. I did play that, yeah. That was fucking weird because I just played that song like 10 minutes ago, so I thought it was my fucking YouTube music wow. right now. I was tripping. Can you believe that I song? Is, that, song. That, that song is like 15 years old now. That's crazy. I don't know. It played randomly like 10 minutes ago. And so like I was tripping. I thought I left it on. And I'm like looking right now in my apps. I'm like, hey, what the fuck is going on? Mm-hmm. That's what you're saying. AEW Stillborn's promo is like. No, you uh, were that no, Bullfrog. Life. You were fat born, bro. That's what you were. Yeah, that Dude, it life was uh, Joe, I like him a lot. It would have taken four coat hangers to abort him. Or whatever. Oh. A baseball bat. Yeah, I'm open. still here. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we know. <laughs> Jesse, what do you talk about? Uh, retro, retro Gatorade. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Retro, re- bald-headed ass mother. 
<laughs> you tell him. You tell him, bullfrog. All right. Fucking bully. Jesus I'm bully the bull toe. Just fucking pull with bend. I'm tired. Wait, so what's going on with the stillborn match? Who's going to be in it? Two whores. Just a couple. Yeah, just a couple. Of He's pregnant right now. Somebody's got to be. You get was that it's, it's a match. Look, <laughs> speaking of Sheamus, is it rumored to come back pretty soon? Which is kind he of has good. A fat ass. Oh, I didn't know he left. Sheamus is bad. Gr- yeah, that'll put some asses in seats. <laughs> so I had nobody to put my ass in his seat. Taylor Dude, Swift put more ass in any seat seat in the NFL. I could have sworn Nerdy said that Seamus is a groomer. <laughs> I could have done it. I heard he that too. He me. I heard that too. <laughs> Hammer, yeah. He said Seamus is groomer to be back in a <laughs> True too. Well, what's he going to do? Like, he's just going to do the same old shit. Fell on! And, you know. Seamus, people. Seamus, a lot of people still think that Seamus is going to be the one that beats Gunther to win the title. Oh, oh my God. Fella. They do have good matches, I will say. Like that's a that's a feud that could just keep going, kind of, because they have great well, matches. Crazy to look at Sheamus like early in his career when like the WWE really really liked him. Like mm-hmm. they were world championships left and right, and, mm-hmm. and they they had him beat John Cena within like the first six or seven months of his career in WWE, mm-hmm. and now he's just guy who they put in matches to lose. You know, Joe, it doesn't feel like anything. True. Speaking of all this wrestling talk, um, oh god! If I, if I made a, a wrestling trivia show, would you guys participate in it? Mm-hmm. Would that be something you guys would enjoy? Mm-hmm. What's the yeah. trivia going to be like? If you had an ass and you put your dick in it, would you guys fuck? Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, William Regal. I mean, hey. is, there, is there parameters to this, or is this any wrestling from the start of time to now, or what? Are, what kind of? What are you talking about here? Listen, yeah. I haven't really thought out the rules. Um, I can't get people to show up other than the champion for my Dragon Ball trivia. So I think that'd be a it. good segment for uh, for like Joe's reviews. Like, do a quick little trivia thing, and like the the uh, the chat can like chime in, whatever. I don't know. That could be well, a good little Joe segment. Participate. I think Joe- I'm the uh, I'm happy to be the reigning Dragon Ball trivia champion for the rest of time. <laughs> I will I start talking Dragon Ball. Ready. I'll kill myself. No, we're what made you want to do a wrestling trivia thing, nerdy? Dude, well, I'm down. The... <laughs> I think Joe would Joe would be a little bitch and get. I think Alpha or Beta is over now. I really do. I think it's over. You know. Look, well, it, what if we? Uh, what if we? Uh, Hmm. I mean, what do you win if you if you if you win the trivia? I mean, like it's get? over. I, like people like it. That's the I'll first time it. I've ever heard Joe say Alpha. Like I think, like in reference of it, he usually just mm, goes yeah. like when when Nerdy says it's time for Alpha or Beta, Joe just usually just. Mm, all right. Well, I'm gonna let's um, switch. Uh, uh, let's, see, let's switch to Alpha, uh, Beta, or Omega. Let's go with that route. Alpha or beta is the is when Joe is gone, we bring up alpha or beta. That's the fact. Oh, God. And today alpha is what we use to piss off Mr. Pico. Because yeah. then. <laughs> it, it, yeah. well, it's growing on me. It me off. It's growing on him. Oh, my God. We got to switch it up. What, herpes? Yeah. No. Remember, shit. no. Remember Mr. Pico yes, yes, kidding? No. Never, Mr. Pico kept shitting on whatever segment Nerdy was trying to get on. And Nerdy, and Nerdy went off on me like a... Yeah, I don't know. You fucking piece of shit! How about you just sit there and fucking fuck everything up? <laughs> was that night. Transy was menstruating. Dude, oh, dude, Nerdy's been trying hard, man. He's been producing this motherfucker. Like, you got two hours on it requires. Hey, where's listening. Father Nerdy, dude? You said you're bringing him back. I miss Father Nerdy. For Christ's sake. The he will be back. He he is uh, out. He's in trial right now with a uh, costume a store. Costume store wanted the priest outfit back. <laughs> yeah, that's probably. Yeah. Dude, I th- I swear dude. to God though, you look like Osama bin Laden that night. That's the first thing I thought. I heard you Osama bin Laden. I heard Chef at uh, yeah, Golden Corral. Uh, Jeff Boyardee. Yeah. Chef Boyardee. Dude, no, that was great. It was great. 
Chef Boy Nerdy might make a comeback. Uh, yeah, uh, Chef Boy Nerdy. <laughs> <laughs> I had a uh, I had a bowl of Chef Boy RD the other day that like almost made yeah. me just like oh, having yeah. it in while it's I was yeah. tasting, like wanted to vomit. <laughs> no, it's, it's terrible. That, I don't know how the fuck we ever eat that. that. I feel like that sauce is literally they just take like whatever the leftovers of a, like a ragu bottle or you know what I'm saying a ragu yeah. container of, that of bottom sauce. shit. Yeah, yeah, and then they just. Fill it up with water. <laughs> oh, dude, it's bad, bro. Water be reddish. <laughs> I'd rather have some spaghettios before I'll have some Chef Boy RD. And they're both fucked. No, you should try your trivia like a test run on us one day or sometime soon and see how it goes. Oh. Before, you know. oh, I would yeah, like I'm to. Not... I would like it if someone actually made real homemade beef aroni, like the little. Things that we ain't gonna get that in no can, man. You can make that easily. Do yeah, yeah but, but you ain't gonna feel like making. I'm not a. I'm not fucking crafty at all. I have no you, skill. Uh, you could. You could do it. It's not hard. Shock. Are you still losing weight, Luke, or what's going on? No, it's weird. Mm. I am losing weight, which is because I Good haven't man. really been losing weights lately, or like doing anything particularly like. Exercise. How's your cardio? Well, I walk pretty much every day to and from work, which is about in total like forty minutes. Oh, that's a good walk. Like, all right, so a solid walk every day that'll keep you fucking steady doing You're your Jerry thing. Jerry from Subway, bro. You just don't touch kids yet. Lovely well, jubblies. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> yeah, you got your lovely jubblies, dude. You, you were really <laughs> doing what? Jesse limps for forty minutes. I don't even know how Tommy did it, but he was able to make like his. His words sound like he was like <laughs> bubbling with them. You know what I mean? Like it was, sounds it's like he was fat. burping while he was saying it. <laughs> Blubbly jubbly. Blubbly jubbly. jubbly. That's just Blubbly the Tommy jubbly. industry, okay? I'm going to go out for some hang and. Uh, honestly, the 40 minute walk's good, man. Every day. That shit, that's results. If you do that. Eric, we need but, you to come back. Please. Yeah, what? I feel like I, I feel like I got the biggest workout this week trying to fucking um, lift this PlayStation Five in and out uh, of Xbox or uh, in and out of the GameStop, uh, and then into my tiny ass Uber and then home. It was the thing was heavy as fuck, and the uh, the packaging, like it comes with a handle, but the guy said don't use the handle. And I'm like, well, then why oh, is there yeah, even? You want to drop that shit on the sidewalk. Fuck. Damn, dude. But yeah, I do have the PlayStation 5. I just got it a few days ago. It's Good man. expensive as hell. It was, it, they said it was only $500, and then it ended up with the insurance. Whoa. It ended up being like $591. Wait, you so get insurance from fucking GameStop? Hmm? Did you get insurance from GameStop or from fucking Sony or whoever? From, from GameStop. Yep. Is that reliable? Um, well, it should be because I'm the one who I spent fucking money on it, you know. Dude, no, no I, I not only have that. I heard that it's reliable, I've heard that GameStop's warranty, they'll like they'll let you break a video game in front of them and then they return it and give you your Oh, money all back. right. No, that's Dude, nobody helpful. gives a fuck with the GameStop. I've heard so many stories. Anyone that works mm -hmm. there just doesn't want to be there, but will do anything you tell them. Because they just don't care. Dude, they used to care. <laughs> they they dick those people, like the employees around, they dicked them around so much, dude, that it's insane. That's the easiest manager job to get, by the way, too. You work there for three weeks, you they'll try and make you manager immediately. Dude, but if they're yep. hot enough, I'd let them suck my dick. Hey, well. Yeah, I, every time I've gone to stop and asked for like a refund, maybe not a refund, but ask for like... I, I went there and my for whatever reason my copy of Red Dead Redemption Two wasn't working and I'm like it doesn't it doesn't look scratched at all like it looks perfectly fine and the guy the guy looked at it and he's like yeah I don't know it's weird all right here you go and he gave me a new one he just gave me a new copy. I'm like oh Damn. I'm telling you man they don't give a fuck like I need to go there more often for stuff because fuck this man that's hey, great he was just calling you out in the chat Luke he said how are you negative in your account if you just bought a PS5 that's probably why. Well, I didn't. Okay, 
I didn't full, well, I saved up a lot of money for it. Like I was con- I was saving up money and I wasn't saving it in my bank account. I was saving the money um e- basically e- in a shoebox. You know, so how are you going like 120 years old? Hey, you know, my mother hey. bought me the PlayStation 3 for my birthday. Mm. Um and my mm-hmm. mother helped with it. My mother helped me out with it. Um she my mother oh. loves me. <laughs> what, did you with the GameStop employee to get a discount or something? What? Cr- what? I didn't even hear the, the tasteless crass joke that you made about my mother, <laughs> but um, I thank said, you. Did she sleep with the GameStop I, employee? I, I, <laughs> what is she? What is he saying? I can't hear him. That would be alpha. He yeah. asked if you fucked your mother to get a deal. <laughs> That's how I got the deal. <laughs> um. No, that did not happen. Actually, we got out. We I was thinking we were going to be in there for like 10 minutes or 20 minutes. Like, I didn't know if we had to sign some shit. It was really yeah. just a simple saying like, hey, can I get the Spider-Man 2 version of the PlayStation 5? They're like, okay. Wait, what is that from- Dude, this was like when I bought, remember when, um, you know, when, when this show was just dominating and, I had all, and we had so many donations. So I went, um, I, my computer was failing if everybody remembers. So I went to fucking Best Buy, right? And I went to Best Buy. I was and I bought. Oh my god, a, Best Buy! No. I went to Best Buy to be. I well, I just had to get something nearby, and I was like, all right. I looked at the build they had, and I was like, all right. And I went to Best Buy. I saw the thing I wanted, and it was like you know whatever it was thousands of dollars, right? So I'm about to spend like twenty five hundred dollars on all this stuff, and um, wow. And when Jesus I did god. that, when I did that. It like wouldn't work because my bank wouldn't accept it. All these other things. Yeah, no. And, for that large of a charge, you have to call them or let them know. Yeah, yeah. and it's nighttime. You know, what I mean, it's nighttime at Best Buy that nobody's open, and so I'm going through all these steps in my head trying to figure it out and all these other things. And I'm saying to the guy, I'm like, how do I said it at Best Buy to the clerk? I go, dude. I go, how do rich people pay for things? <laughs> like that's what I say. They oh, how do rich have people a, buy they stuff? They have a threshold on their accounts that go well over that amount. Yeah, that's, but I was like, I'm not used to this. I, I don't usually have money, but like, you know, you know, somebody, you know, everyone had donated and and all this other stuff. And not only did the show make a lot of money at this point, but mm-hmm. that same night, it might have been, I think it was, it was Himmel God or Sith, and I don't remember which okay. one now, but one of them, and and everybody was donating. But it this was years ago. This was like five years ago. No, but for that amount, it had to be either one of them. Yeah, I, I went. All right, he's like, go get. I mean, the show had made like two or three thousand dollars that night, and then somebody went, oh, and go get the computer, and then a thousand came in from them, and yeah. I was like, what the fuck? Oh. So I went and I bought all this stuff, no, but dude. like, I couldn't buy it. I had to come back. Like, no, I, honestly, dude, uh, dude for, for anybody, I've, I've had, I've been held up in grocery lines, any other lines. Sometimes you just you got to call your bank ahead of time. Because they will fucking hold you up and you'll have a line out the fucking door waiting for your ass to fucking finish your transaction. And it's like, man, I should just call ahead the minute because all you gotta do is put an approval through before you make the purchase. What was it was just funny because it was just funny because, you know, it's the idea that I'm I'm whatever age I am. You know what I mean? At that point, five years ago. Yeah. And I'd never made purchase like that. You know, what I mean, that's what gotcha. was funny. It was like I was, uh, and it was out of your bank card, right? So that's even more. Yes. Why they? Took it. Yeah, like yeah, it could have been a credit they... card. It would have been all right. Credit card companies take calls like all night and day. They're like, whatever. dude, you just made this money. Are you sure? Is this <laughs> <Yeah>. you? <laughs> it was I wish funny. my baby like, that when I withdrew money at the uh, fucking strip club. Well, you know, dude, they should. should. Usually you spend your money like you're a broke piece of shit, but you're trying to actually <laughs> get something. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, oh. no, but it's good. That's good that they do that because the yes. minute, trust me, I've had identity like I'm still dealing with it. I've, I've got identity fraud. People are still trying to open up accounts in my name this year, so yeah. I, it's not it's no fun. So it's a good thing that banks do that. Yeah, they're still trying to use your Discord name to open up bank accounts. No, they're just using my real name and my social. Yeah. Bill yeah, Burr's well, wife. Got... Oh, go ahead. Sorry. Wait, oh God! What? Yo, bird! What up, bird? No, Bill Burr's wife bird? shot a double bird to Donald Trump at the UFC fight tonight. Goldberg's wife? What's the word? Bill Again? Burr, not Goldberg. I thought you said bird. Oh, Bill Burr. Bill Burr. Yeah. Wife. Bill Burr's oh, Bill Burr's wife doesn't head. like Trump. Bird was here. Fuck you. We're moving on to the. Oh, he is. 
<laughs> no, yeah, no, fuck Bill Burr's wife. Nobody finds her funny. Bill Burr's probably that. like, oh boy, I'm gonna hear about this tomorrow. Ah, uh, dude, yeah. he just wants black fucking vagina. Bird, how the fuck are you? Next to Kid Rock at the fight. I'm fucking high and drunk and enjoying life. Hey, Bird, yeah. you're an, you're an Xbox guy, right? Because I can see your logo there. I listen, man. I'm sorry that I had to betray Xbox like that and get a PlayStation, but um, we do any... not accept faggots in the Xbox oh. community. Uh, PlayStation can geez. gladly what? keep you. Oh, fine. And you know what? PlayStation actually has that make people want to buy the console and Xbox has Game Pass to do 5,000 games that nobody gives a shit about. Hey, hey you wait, wait, wait. Okay. That's okay. But, but PlayStation Play- has... Uh, Xbox... Yeah. <laughs> PlayStation will gladly lose fucking uh, Call of Duty because that's the only thing that... Like, that the only game that's fucking hot right now. So, yeah. Well, but, but, but like, what's the last thing Xbox... Sick. Like, the yeah, new Call of Duty sucks. Everybody's shitting on the new Call of Duty. <laughs> it's literally well, shitting on every, everybody shits on something. Everybody shits on Diablo three. Everybody shits on the new Call of Duty. Dude, everybody who fucking well, doesn't touch grass is gonna shit on the new video game. Well, no, Diablo three like, does fuck. upset me though. I'm a Diablo two guy, so people are shitting on it. Like it's not just like some idiots. Like most people are not liking the game, saying that the the fucking the campaign is like four hours long, and they're That's selling. That's how it should like, be. There's, it shouldn't be. Okay, they're selling buddy. a full bullshit, game. dude. They're well, no, full- let's hear this. What are your they're, arguments? They're selling a full sixty dollar game. Meanwhile, it's like really just in reality, it's DLC for the last game. I'll, I'll and- give you that. I will actually, I'll give you that one though. I will say this though. I was talking to a couple friends tonight that said it's basically a fucking DLC. The okay. Of, of Modern Warfare 2. And like, a bunch of that. and there's okay. a bunch of re- assets from the from the last game. I think they literally just the opening scene is them reusing like uh what was it the uh something from Warzone. It was one of the maps from Warzone that they just reused in the opening scene. But also, also, also yeah, games, right? should, games should not be four hours long. In modern games, Wait, if you're okay, spending... that's what I want to hear. Like he said that they that that's how it should be. You said Dude, it didn't. if you have a campaign that? that's short as fuck, it's like to me you're missing out on, in my opinion, what could be great content for the campaign. Like I love a long story in a campaign to a new game. I love that shit. And what's I love your thought? Storytelling. That, that's what that's what I'm saying. A four hour campaign is ridiculous for any game nowadays. Uh, if I was, okay. yeah, you like it, never mind. Story are you are you interested into the multiplayer action? Like right the fuck away. You can't right to like do it. Like it doesn't matter what type of game it is. Is that what is that what your main purpose of playing the game is? Because I like the story behind it. Maybe they're I'm doing thinking, that oh, so that people don't have to wait so long and have to spend so much time like because they miss it and they get less clicks and less plays. There's just not enough know. for anything. For any story-driven game, I think honestly, it's the same problem that um, actually, I just lost my train of thought. But yeah, like Red, really, for instance, Red Dead Two is an extremely long game. That's almost too long. Yeah, you can ride a horse for hours. Satisfying. That narrative is so awesome. I think games nowadays that give you only like two or three hour, four hour mm-hmm. uh, campaigns are fucking mm-hmm. selling you shit. Now, yeah. yeah. Now, unless the game is called um, Skull Island: Rise of Kong, that is one of the oh, greatest that, games. Oh, that's yeah, Epstein that's Island: easy. Rise of Dawn. Yeah, that is true. <laughs> the other day, I it, the other day I called it Skull Kong: The Rise of Island or something. <laughs> hey, fuck it. Kinky Dude, Kong. that shouldn't have been a game. So fuck that shit. It's not even <laughs> like three hours long. <laughs> I don't know how you Kinky put that on PlayStation Five. That should be on PS One, dumb. Shit, that game is so terrible. I mean, amazing. It's an amazing game. How dare they put that on a PS5 or anything new? Like, what the fuck are you doing? That that came out the same year that Gollum came out. Which, speaking of which, Jeff, you kind of look like Gollum, like before his whole life went to shit. All right. Uh, Thank God I never saw those fucking movies. Fucking hate those movies. Hey, fuck off. Those movies aren't bad. All right. Ladies, I, fell, I fell asleep. Yeah, because you're fucking a stone. Trees were walking. 
the you can't stay away from in that fucking movie. Fucking screen, you piece Cause you're going through chemo. Yeah. No shit, you fell asleep. Tell Thank you. Uh, no, this is 20 years before chemo. <laughs> doesn't really matter. It doesn't matter about the chemo. He's just a lazy fuck. That's why he you're, fell asleep. You're, you're the wrong guard, wrong said it was, fucking era. Guard, hey, in that guard. first Lord of the Rings, if you don't fucking make it through that, you're fucking stuck. All right. Oh, said, right. I just I just hate fucking Renaissance or whatever fucking fantasy. But you like shit. all this other core shit. What the fuck? <laughs> well, yeah, but it's, yeah. it doesn't have to do with like wizard and shit. Yeah, he likes cool stuff Maybe like Dragon Ball Z. Yes, yeah, yeah. Wizards. Dragon Ball Z is so Dragon Ball Z. What? Uh, like I said, Renaissance. What's wrong with that? Renaissance. It's a great story. Oh, I do. I do agree. With me. Me. There's something. There's something about like that old timey like Knights and really? Dragons. Knights and Dragons era yeah. shit, like never been interested in it. Like I'm not care. interested in it either, but the movie was still good. I enjoyed it. I, I'm not into the old oh. shit either. But I've heard good things about about the Lord of the Rings series, but I <clears throat> have never had any interest in watching it, and I've never watched it. like a little bit of it. Dude, Remember dude your oh my fucking god, bro! If I'd say watch are... the first one, and if you can't make it through it, then don't continue. But no, that's no, 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 Okay, all right, all right, all right. You've seen the Go second, ahead. you've seen, you've seen the second, you've seen nothing of the second or third movies, none of the battles or anything. They're all right. The only thing I think I I've ever saw, for it. only thing I ever saw of any of the series was, mm-hmm. um, I think I saw a little bit of Desolation from Maug, the, the Hobbit movie or whatever. And yeah, I remember, yeah, yeah. I remember so, falling asleep to it. But Luke, are you a story guy or an action guy? I'm a story oh, guy. I'm a story slash action guy, but okay. I don't know. I just never. I'm just not personally interested in that type of story. Did you try like, and... the first uh, Lord of the Rings? Then did you ever try it? I don't know. I did. I haven't. I haven't. But I I know it's one of those things. that's like if I, it's like a thing I have to cross off the bucket list of movies. Well, and, uh, I'll be honest, I'll... dude, like my favorite of all of them is the first one and it's all story. That The second and third one are a lot of action and they kind of bore me, to be honest. But like, if you like story, that first one, I don't think anybody does it better. Like, it's fucking great. Did they ever explain why they never fucking took them to Middle Earth and they had to fucking they flew him to the beginning. Read go, the fucking right, book. Walk. Yes, because the eagles are like, uh, they're not allowed to interfere with man's uh, with, That's okay. with that realm. And it's, they did a great job with those films, I'm going to say. But, Look, but it is like, a good question, Gargots. It's a great question, and I think I have great questions for you in my Super Saiyan, my Dragon Ball oh. Z trivia show oh, that you God. Need to come to, brother. Because Luke is the champion right now, and I think you can. Oh him. shit, bro! What is the hell is that? What kind of what gay shit is that? How much did that set you back, you beer needing fuck? If you, I've, I've if had you it. Me, it doesn't even fit me anymore. Yeah, I, I no doubt. Gargrats, if you right. beat me in trivia, will be for the mile. Okay, now I will say this from <laughs> knowing you, you guys need to have Dragon Ball Z off. Both of y'all. All right, dude. You know what the Dragon Ball Z off is gonna be is gonna turn into with me and Gargots. It's gonna start out like fine enough, and then eventually it's just gonna turn into no fuck you, fucking pizza, fuck you, no fuck you. I'll tell you what it is. What it really is, fucking fucking. I got laid twenty years ago. I got laid twenty minutes ago. (laughs) I got laid yesterday. Yeah, I was a dude. The one. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, nerdy. Go ahead, nerdy. No, you guys are good. Uh, it'll be a great show. I can't wait. Um, so let's do that, that tomorrow. Would be fun. Are you guys down? What? Oh I God, know. I want to see this. Yeah, oh, yeah. you it's guys do have to do this. I, I would watch this. Let's it's a twenty minute long thing, Gargots. Is there any time before or after work? After there you work. go. After work, I can do it. Oh, yeah, I dude. Time. All right, right well y'all. Anyway. Anyway. I'm gonna give you money. I still owe Luke. Rose. Wait, what? You gotta, hey, wait, you no, gotta wait send a me minute. a Venmo. He don't need yeah. no more money. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> Gargets, I'll, I'll, I'll give you ten bucks for just showing up, for being a, a champion and showing up. Wow, this will be great. It's Dude, not you a see lot. Luke and, and him do this. That'd it's be a piece of one. 
I still owe Luke. Luke, you gotta send me your Venmo. So is this a pre-recorded thing or is this gonna be live? Uh, if no, I don't fuck record. it up, it's oh, gonna be live. I'm thinking about it. Okay. I don't know. It does sound a little weird that we're like promoting this whole other show on the. No, no, stop it! No, no, no! You promote anyone that's on this show, and we we put a heartbeat into this show. That's no, it's fine. Okay. Let's, let's feel bring like, back. I'm like doctor. Uh, a doctor. No way, he's a doctor. Uh, what's his name? Dork Knight. May divorce yeah. me with you. Oh, he's not a doctor. I'm he's a. We need to clip that too. Weird. He's I a doctor. Wanna... I do kind of want to oh, see divorce God. be with you because that could be funny. <laughs> nah, it's probably really it's not funny. I mean, I love that when he tells the story of his ex-wife, he has to tell you which one. <laughs> yeah, that's true. And, and it's always like she's she's incredible. She's like awesome, you know. And I'm oh, great. Oh. Yeah, and this one's a cunt. But no, I love Dork Knight, dude. Hey, he's uh, very, he's the most honest motherfucker we've come across in a while. Quick, like, yeah. quick question: Did you so you got new new questions for this? And pedo Aaron? type of person. Fuck, I have he's no plates. <laughs> yeah, welcome back, Joe. Did you just get in a quick shower? <laughs> hey, he was just letting us fuck okay, around. Promote. No, I've been the whole time. Fuck. I've been here the whole time. Cringed. Cringe. No, Cringe. that's good. What do you think of this whole fucking Dragon Ball like Z it. nonsense? Gay. How about That's you the cringe? <laughs> That's the cringe. How about yeah, you okay. Mic? We cringe on the mic and instead of off mic, we all want to just... hear from you. Yeah. We all. Yeah. Hey, Joe. <laughs> we all want to get you with you. Hey, hey, hey Joe. Let me finish. Yeah. How come Ray Mysterio oh, wasn't oh, big ass, ass fat waste assaulted? waste of space? Oh my god. Yeah. yeah I will. I'm gonna put you in the cage like a bird you are. The hell? Me what a good time. You know. Then, oh, never get... mind. So, then I'm gonna get froggy with you, little parrot. Joe, did you oh, watch please any... do. Did, did you watch hey. any of the Republican National Convention? Ugh. Bird. Hey bird. No. Yes. Polly got Polly got a crack. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus Christ. Christ. You know, wanna... can we have the real bullfrog for five seconds? Because god damn, this sucks. This this guy stinks. No, he doesn't you... stink normally, but like 95% of the time he's great. Five percent though. Do you not know mm-hmm. that that's Luke doing that, Jesse, and not the other guy? <laughs> I dude, I'm looking for the other you guy. Fucking okay, idiot. Thank yeah. you. I'm literally looking for okay, Luke. I, I would take my statement. Brilliant. Hey, exactly. Don't you dare miss, uh, disrespect the champion. Anyway. Um, who's breathing like that into the microphone? That Can we a, find out who's one. breathing like this into the microphone? <laughs> <laughs> like they're masturbating seriously. How about a heavy stroke? It's bird. Uh, no, I had no idea that was Luke. So good on you, Luke. That was phenomenal. I'm sorry. Sorry, bitch. Luke has some talents. Jesus Christ. He has many talents. He's my favorite person here. Oh. <laughs> Not what you told me. And I never hey, told uh, you. Pico, are you going to yeah. Rockville, Pico? I oh, doubt geez. it. No? He can't fucking... He doesn't fit in the seats. Mm. It's not seated, you dumb fucking... And you can't stand in there either, because the people are... You're in the way. <laughs> Dude, ah, I, got that. I think he wanted to call you the n-word and he held up Jesus. no no I no no, no. Wait, he's, not, he's, he's too fat to be a, a n-word oh that's oh. right so i didn't hear oh. what you said i got interrupted are you going jesus. to not speak well clean your stove bitch. <laughs> i got it fucking jesus out of there. that's great jesus fucking christ <laughs> i love you guys tried the angry monster taco at jack in the box that's what the hell? Don't. Back what is that? I'm telling you, talking about a pussy. No, no what is that? What, what is a oh, green monster? Green pussy. It's an what angry the... lesbian pussy. Um, it's Ooh, like the it spicy Doritos like the shit knock, that I'm about to take. Oh my god, Ner- uh, I'm sorry, Nuri. Bird, I love you, bud. But, oh my god, the breathing. It is so. Oh. So... Mm. <laughs> 
other leaves. You were in a headset there, Bird? <laughs> of course it's Bird. I'm drunk and I'm high. Like... <laughs> no, but I'm wondering if he's got a headset. Do he you think there's a guy in this world that could sound nearly as drunk simply from just breathing like Bird? Like, I can tell this guy has had... Been... You need a CPAP? He's like, <laughs> it's a disease. <laughs> Gosh. <laughs> Bird usually sounds better than most people around here. No, because I've seen everybody. Probably, most oh, so you're not going to go? All right. I'm on the Xbox, that's go. why it sounds like shit, Jesse. Well, I've seen everybody already. Okay. Well, Gary King's new fucking goddamn project is going to be there. I, you know what? I think like he's having last year again, but... Wait a minute, Bill's Bur- oh. uh, Bill Burr's wife is flipping off the camera. It looks like not Trump. Oh, I thought she was just fucking dying, like she should. Bird, but all right, oh. wife flipped the bird. Everybody's saying it's Trump. No, she, 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 dude, she doesn't even have a thought of her own. She's very into like just saying what she thinks is smart. Maybe she's and, flipping off the camera. Dude, look at her. Though. I like look her. At her. She's, all, but I don't she's, like. She's staring at the camera. Look at her here. I mean, is she not staring at the camera? Oh, what do you got here? It's really so what? frustrating listening to uh, to Bill Burr's podcast where he has to argue his wife when like Bill is always, almost always in the right in all these arguments, but then like Bill mm-hmm. has to fuck. He has to like cop out in the end. Like, listen, you're so right. I stopped listening to him. He's whipping his ass. Do you think Bill you're Bill right ever thought that. he? Was, you think Bill ever thought <laughs> he was going to be sitting right next to Trump? Like, yeah, this guy. He's got to be like this is fucking crazy. That is yeah, cool. Bill, it's kind of cool. Bill, I like it. <laughs> Bill, Wait, Bill Burr's is wife it. is black? Mm-hmm. What the fuck? But you... you didn't fucking know this? How old yeah, the no. fuck? I don't know what life is. What the fuck? Dude, his, well, is... Dude, his... He, his, him and his wife have, like, me and Leah's thing. Like, I have to, he has to deal with it, like... Yeah, but it's not as organic what? as you and Leah. They fake Leah. it. Leah. Dude. <laughs> really like Leah's not really like yeah she's liberal but she's not you know what I mean she doesn't believe she's in that real. yeah she's not really it's weird she'll fight with you about all kinds of stuff and fight with me about stuff just because she doesn't like that I'm going in a route but she doesn't not, have that slave agenda but she doesn't actually yeah but she, whoa but she actually doesn't <laughs> have um but she doesn't have like isn't into it you know like she's not into like going out in or like really believing in something too much you know what i'm saying and like, she'll listen to reason your your wife but like his wife like i feel like he has to bow down to her not uh-huh. for any other reason other than she won't fucking compromise she won't listen to reason of other sorts than what she believes yeah so this doesn't look like she's giving the finger to trump at all she's making eye contact with the camera yeah that's what i'm seeing too oh but she I'm... wants to pretend she's a hard bitch all right she's almost ignoring him better though because he's like he's probably one of the biggest comedians in the world right now and like he he probably thinks it too like damn it if i just didn't get married and have a kid with this chick i could be getting look at bill dude look at bill Bill, bill's like oh i want to this is i want to say hi to trump look at him he's like he's like oh (laughs) i want to say like i want to go like oh wow like donald how you doing like whatever Eh, like but I can't because she's next to me. <laughs> I would have voted for you if my wife didn't write in my my answer. I love you, Trump. The, the Bill Burr thing because I saw a clip from the movie that uh, the Bill Burr movie or whatever, and you know that scene where he's uh, smoking a cigar and the guy the hotel owner's like, "Hey, you can't smoke a cigar here." Yeah. And then he pulls out of and he starts vaping. Yeah. Dude, people in the comments of that video were actually like on the side of the guy who was telling him that he can't smoke a cigar and being like, well, it's his establishment and vaping doesn't cause nearly as much of a smell. It's like the amount yeah. of people who just like... It was like, no, like, no, no dude, uh, we, we know. The point is you're a pussy. <laughs> like, that's the point. Wait, what, what movie is this, by the way? I just have to ask. It, it's uh, The new it's Bill Burr movie. Dad. It's called uh, Old have... Dads, Old Dads. Oh, 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 an actual movie. Yes. Okay, I got you. Now, Bill Burr is more of a liberal, but it's just like he's like me. I feel like I'm like like most of what Bill Burr says. I'm like, yep. That's... He's a gray area guy. Like yeah, you. he's like yeah. Uh, he's like we are. You know, he's open minded. You know, to whatever. But like, you he's know. very careful not to fuck his career up. We all got like yeah. you got to understand that he's trying to keep his career high up. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. 
He is a little. Well, he he's, he's definitely faker than he's ever been now. But but unfortunately, I, but yeah. he's still good. That was the arc of that movie. It was like, hey, listen, uh, I don't like these fake people. And at the end of the movie, he was like, I guess I'm gonna just deal with these fake people. Great resolution for the film, by the way. And then, don't you love the principal oh. that acts like a cunt for most of the movie, and then she gets arrested off screen, so we have no satisfying <laughs> with her Spoilers. character or any oh. other. <laughs> did, did you guys like um, F is for Family? Movie, Joe. The more I think about yeah. that movie, the more I'm just like yeah, oh, the, wow, the movie that... is weird. It's a cop out movie. It's like it's like. Oh, that, uh, this is funny. Old dads, and they're making fun of all SJWs, but at the same time, it's kind of like, oh, they're kind of like, like, like 70s dads. Affirming them, too. It's very weird. Yeah. Stop Mark you Handel making, making fun of SJWs so well with the new Panderverse <laughs> thing. Like, it's so funny because, yeah, they're poking fun, of course, at these corporate executives constantly like, no, make her woke, make her gay. That's the new thing now. <laughs> like, well, what do you think we should do? Kathleen, Miss Kathleen Kennedy, uh, put a chick in it. Make her gay. It's super lame. <laughs> make gay, make it lame. Pussy That's smells. Like. Go ahead. They're also fun at the people who blame everything on like woke stuff and blame everything on uh, Kathleen. Yes. The thing that's yeah, funny I like, about I like, I like the Pandaverse. So, great. so Bill Burr is married to Troy. Okay, got it. Yeah. <laughs> what, you, what, you don't know what it means. Uh, how what? indignant of you, Joe? How What's the matter, indignant? Bill? Don't know what indignant is? I married a you fucking know, idiot. I don't fucking know. Still indignant. I don't know. Spell it now. Spell it and put your. He, you have no dick. I am indignant. indignant. <laughs> Spell dickless. You are it. Dude, Remember that's why I like the cartoon, man. I liked F is for Family because it, it yeah, actually like it. didn't hold me punches back. It was right. really okay. good. Remember, Bill Burr is a fake person. Is a fake person because he didn't want to hang out with Anthony Cumia. The, you know, the no, guy that's who... not even fake. That's fucked up because Kenny should have known how to handle Anthony better because Kenny has known Anthony for 20 fucking years. So he can handle Ken... him, all right? He's a piece of shit. Kenny's always been a Dude, piece of shit. Um, but he didn't need to treat him like that. That was horse shit. Kumi, Kumi, uh, People uh, worked with Anthony. Anthony were not Anthony's people. kind of like, I mean, I like. Anthony, but it's like they're the bullies. Come on, like you know what I mean. No, I know I'm not, I'm not disagreeing with that, but it, the way that Kenny handled it was kind of stupid. He acted like he'd never met the guy, like he did, mm. like you just get out of here. And it's just like, dude, <laughs> I you, you fucking worked been, with him for years. He's like, always been like, not a. He's been just an unloyal piece of shit. He, like, it's the same thing with a lot, a lot of people who used to work behind the scenes in Opie and Anthony. Like, who was mm-hmm. the other guy? Dan. Danny was a complete piece of shit. Like, really fucking. Even Anthony was like, yeah, that guy's weird. Yeah, but, but, and, he, and, but yeah, that's true. Sam, no, like, Sam is just a fucking, was a fucking liar rat who constantly Wait, tried like to, like, try to pit <laughs> people against each other and try to get them to fight each other. <laughs> and that's like, well, hide behind Master Poe. The big, uh, uh, so we didn't. The big Boston morning show here, the two guys, uh-huh. they just, dude, the guy, one of the guy, one of them, just quit, like left is leaving. He quit, and so oh, they, that just happened. Like the guys that I listen to in the morning here, that are kind of uh-huh. like, I would say Opie and Anthony Light or whatever. I would yeah. Toucher and Rich, um, fucking Toucher's leaving. Like so, it's like, uh, like it's to go touch kids. But no, he's so he just <laughs> he's leaving, and it's like I was like, wow, what the fuck, bro? They've been together. Why do you guys always get the better fucking like radio? Over you know. here, we're lucky if we get a system of because a down it's the Northeast there. because of the market. It's the market. No, I do. I do. I swear to God, over in the West Coast, we can't get that kind of shit. We we we're lucky to get fucking Metallica interviewed for an hour. Like well, if we get anything, the they don't really do a lot of band interviews anymore. No good talk radio, none of this. Shit. I I was fl- I was hitting up the radio station like a maniac. I was like, oh my God, get me on the air with with the other guy. I'll, we'll go. But uh, have you ever called in? Yeah, I called and told him to suck my dick. No, but no, I uh, I'm telling you, bro, the north, the like New York. There's several places yeah. in New York where the you know the top shows are, you know, paid over a hundred thousand dollars, and uh-huh. you know Boston's like that. Um, is this still on FM? Chicago, you're about? yeah, yeah, FM, yeah. Serious XM. The D show. Chicago's what do you think about big. The you think it's gonna be good still, or no? I think it's gonna have a problem because, you know, the you, you can never. 
I mean, you can have a pretty good show with two other people, no doubt about it. But I mean, bro, these guys have been working together for twenty something years. You know. Oh, okay. So it's almost time. Like they had to separate. They, they worked. Uh, I think it. I think in St. Louis. I think they worked for five or six years or so, and mm-hmm. then. Um, then they got hired in Boston, and then the radio station, WBCN shut down, which is our big, was one of our big rock stations, WBCN. And BCN. fucking WBCN Crazy. shut down. Like they, they the shut down and became a sports radio station. And that sports Little radio geez. station is now the biggest station in the state. Or in, or and that's where these guys do their thing? Yeah. It, it, wow. Honestly, though, their show went a little, got a little worse because what happened was they were doing this morning, you know, shock type of, you know, show. Not shock, but like, you know, just a goofy morning show, whatever. And it was really good. It was good. supposed to be real, like real Dude, shit. Dude, it was really funny and it was good. And I was like, okay, you know, and you can see the my timeline of what I listened to, right? Like, you know, Howard Stern and Love Line into, you uh-huh. know, Howard Stern, Opie and Anthony and Love Line. Uh-huh. Um, then it was like, then it became the sports st- talk, right? Like in the mornings out here mm-hmm. in Howard Stern and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. But now, but once all that went away, it was, I would listen to just Toucher and Rich. And now, okay. and dude, I'm telling you like, so like with them breaking up, I don't know out here in Boston what's going to happen, but it's just funny when you see a breakup like Toucher. that. Yeah. Well, like I said, Toucher's going to touch some kids somewhere. So that's why he's leaving. Yeah. But you know what? He sounded like death on the radio. If you like, people out here know what I'm talking about, but most of you guys don't. But the guy sounded like death. Like he was like, he'd be like, "Oh yeah, I, I went to uh, you know uh, CVS yesterday." And uh, he had no life in his uh, voice. They, you can they, hear the chattering of his teeth. Yeah, they, they, you know, the ladies at the thing, and it's it just it smelled weird. So I just left. That's, and he's like, he's, <laughs> like, uh, like, he just sounds so like, like he wants to die. That's the voice that Opie used near the last few years. Opie and oh yes, yes, yes. And oh, he's right. fe- exactly. It's even more, but no, it's worse. He, I, but, but, but he hates. But he dude, hates Anthony. He hates the but, type of style of humor they're using, and he's playing Candy Crush while this is all happening. So he's yes, like, I was yeah. I don't know what's going on with these guys him. though, but they they did it. They did a week. This just got announced the other day, and I was shocked because I heard the rumors that this might be happening. And I was listening to the yeah. show last week. I heard almost all their shows all week, and they had really good shows Monday to Friday. And I'm like, oh shit, maybe something got worked out because the they chemistry sound great. Still there though. Yeah, so that's I I, a, I think it's more of like yeah. a respectful like ending. Like it's sort of like well, I don't want to do this anymore. Did they ever take a break? Because like I feel like like look at us, you and me, Joe. Like yeah. the fucking sometimes you got to take a break, and that's how you stay around. Yeah, you don't. Fuck, if you never take a break, you end up fucking going out on bad terms forever. You know. Yeah. yeah. You have to take breaks. People still <laughs> think that we're. Gonna, people still think that we're gonna get stuff like with Opie and Anthony again. Like, oh, we're gonna get. I hope they're at gonna some be- point we do, man. I really do. Wait, Opie, Opie's not funny. He's not funny at all. And Anthony, like, I think he's. I think Anthony is a really funny guy, but unfortunately, mm-hmm. his. Politics are just so retarded and like so crazy, like conservative that like it's not even funny yeah. anymore. Like, say, oh, he's just doing it for humor now. Like now, it's just like, yeah, he's just an angry racist. No, no you're exactly right. This is why it's not going to happen. Is because, like you just said, um, Opie at this point is like a a fucking just weirdo. Like he's so Look at the ocean, bro. lame, Look dude. Yeah. He's Aren't so Opie has become this old dad lamo, and like you said, Kumia is basically gone too far. Like to be honest, he's gone so far with like that. Like you just said, and listen, so I, right I've right. I've been like this before too, where I've gone tried to push like and just to be like that's crazy. No one will, but then people go, but no, actually, you seem like. Or like a, like a bad person, and then I'm like, oh, and so, but at some point, even though you're joking or you're trying to make people think it's real when it's not, but mm-hmm. if they really start believing it's real, at some point, even though that's cool that you convince them of that, you convince mm-hmm. them of that, <laughs> like so, like but he's it's still funny at least. I'm, like I like that he still keeps his funny. He's yeah, funny, but I but he does no, he does these side things though. Like he like dude, some of the stuff he tweets. Like, forget oh, about it. Yeah, He'll I'm never go back to... You can never go back to Sirius Satellite, dude. He tweets stuff like like black people on the subway, and he'll say stuff like, you know, look, look a bunch... 
clothes, like or whatever, like things like yeah. that. It's like we and just worse and weird things. And yeah, I'd rather really have him and Jim Norton. Shit, that'd be fucking funny. Anthony and Jim Norton when they were on the, because honestly, I think the show was it could have should have been them. O- yes. Opie was a good, Opie could be a good straight man, um, depending on what what mood he's in. You know, because there are shows where Opie's, but there's plenty of shows where Opie is just being a fucking complete. No, no, Jim back. and Anthony could be a show. Those real. two will Jim, never. No, Jim those Norton. two will never Jim. unite. Like Luke Rojas will never unite with the monetize this belt. It's never happened. Ooh. Oh my now, goodness! A segue into a subject. How can you reunite actually... with something you've never been united with? That's true. Yeah. Fuck you, Joe. Gotcha. He fucked Luke, and then you fucked him. That's phenomenal. Look, I think no. Leah and Joe had sex with your belt the other day. Dad, dude, he did, like he won't. Are you kidding like, me? He's gonna sweep that bitch. No, you don't understand no, what she did to me the last week. It was crazy. Go I was on, watching. A... Kicked your ass. I was watching. Logan Paul in it um, since he won the United States title, and uh, he said something to me. He's like, "Man, I do everything with this belt. I travel everywhere. I even fuck on this belt." And then he goes, "Can we cut that out?" Because Triple H actually told me after I won the belt, he's like, "Hey, congratulations, but uh, you're not allowed to fuck the belt." <laughs> like, don't <laughs> yeah, you know, page on the. Like, honestly, <laughs> Paul, for as big of a douchebag that Logan and Jake Paul were. My R, I, the video I saw of them where he, like Logan it had the United States belt with him was actually uh, pretty. Was it actually had me laughing a few times? Of course, I was extremely jealous because they're just standing in a multi-million dollar mansion in every video they film. Yeah. Is that? No, is he's that got Vince a good McMahon's, podcast. I will say he's good. Is, is Vince McMahon's mustache in the thumbnail, or is that him? His upper lip. Fucking Vincent Price. <laughs> No, that's he looks like Vince ate out Booker looks, T. He's got a look sweater. Looks like he belongs Dude, in a Birdcage movie. Off. I love it. That's a exactly. He looks like he looks like Jeez. a vendor <laughs> in an Indian fucking fabric shop. Yeah, yeah like he look, it, <laughs> he's missing his dentures. He but looks honestly, like somebody from Pakistan. <laughs> Why? That's like an eye photo of Vince McMahon, like Vince McMahon oh. slash Mario. <laughs> yeah, dude, he's about to fully retire before he dies. This way, Vince McNamahamanan. Oh shit! Maybe Saudi was dying or something. Like, oh, I, I thought we I, fired I, that son of a bitch. Saudi Arabia is paying him to look like that now. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, now they they yeah, need to bring Muhammad Hassan back. Like, put him on Saudi Arabia TV. It'll be great. Oh my God, that that was the worst part of Crown Jewels was that fucking movie producer guy. Oh, that was so bad. Oh, that, that was the movie producers. Did you did you hear about that oh, fucking God. son of a movie producer? He found his wife's torso in his fucking get this the the, the torsos in the in the in the garbage can. But <laughs> guess what his name is? His name is Haskell. Is Haskell in the chat? Oh <laughs> Haskell Fourth. Maybe it was him. Was that? Well, he would be the one to kill someone. Right. What's wrong with torsos in the trash can? Like, dude, yeah. just throw that shit out. That son of a bitch. bitch. And I haven't seen him in a week, so. Yeah. Uh-oh. Oh, Haskell uh, 420 just oh. showed up to ruin my monetize this belt having chances. That's all he did. Wait, wait, wait. No, you want to take the belt from Luke? Is that what you're saying? No, I almost won it, but then Haskell 420 came in and gave me a bunch of negative oh, bombs. That was fast. You need the future. God damn it. Isn't it that this guy who's withholding the belt from me is claiming that I'm not a champion? His wife is also claiming that I'm not a champion, and they're molesting this title. They're molesting this title. They're holding it hostage. I don't care what you say, Joe. Oh, you don't have the belt, so you're not actually the champ. No, I am the champion. Everybody knows I'm the champion. And when that belt finally does get shipped to me, Joe, revenge. why is it not being shipped? I'm getting revenge. All right, <laughs> I'm gonna do things to that belt that I can't even Ooh. talk about. The show, dude. Let's get you the fucking belt so we can gonna... stop pussyfooting around. What the fuck? <laughs> Oh, he's getting a, a, he's getting a belt all right. Off he's getting a belt all right. He did he send you an Armani piece of shit? What? It was just gonna send me a bunch of like he's gonna send me the belt, but like the there's just pictures and pictures and yeah, pictures. Yeah, it's a drawing. It's a fucking um, retarded drawing. He's gonna send you a belt for your pants. <laughs> it's, it's, Everything that oh. <laughs> <laughs> belt. 
I'll tie oh, Leah's okay, panties the to the middle of a regular belt. Uh, dude, like, if you don't like the idea of an insult, is like, what if I tied my my wife's panties to the belt? Like, oh, I guess that's that, <laughs> yeah, that oh, would be poison yeah. ivy all over the belt. Yeah, nice. Hey, hey, hey! Uh, he can't touch poison ivy ever again, or he'll fucking die. I mean, it was—it's his wife's what? panties, but he was the one that was wearing them last. So, uh, you think that's how it wrong? should be? You want a man's <laughs> coming and a woman's panties most that's times. Disgusting. If you were if you were shipping the belt to Nuri, you would have to fucking send uh, Leah's shoes. And to really? Because I'm into feet. Or something? <laughs> I don't know. No, I'll, I'll, I'll take her shoes. I'm on the. I'm on my last. Fucking tits out, wh- wh- bro. I'm about last to pass match. that. Tits out and watch oh. for the shoe. Like, oh, fucking uh, uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Tori, whatever. To- uh, Tony, Tony Storm. There you go. Yeah. Watch out for the shoe. <laughs> like, it's hey, guys, so maybe, weird. Yeah, I'll pick up um Fight Forever on my PlayStation Five and oh, I'll play it for like. Are you really gonna buy that piece of shit? I'll play it for exactly what? one day, like everybody else did. I and, and you can find a nice used version of it. People have already sent it back by the millions. Dude, Jesse's on crack tonight. Dude, it yeah, was good. I mean, I don't uh, think I don't play video games, but I thought it was pretty. I thought it was. It looked all right. It's just an I like game. The, the, My kids enjoyed it more than I did. They were like, "This is crazy." It's a good arcade game, but that's it. The, yeah, everybody's hyped. Probably. The game. I'd be crazy. It was like for years and years, I heard about this fucking game, and then it comes mm-hmm. out. Talk about it for like literally one week, and one nobody's week, yeah. nobody's playing it. Because these, these guys are the gaming guys, guys. That's why they're like, oh god, yeah, they're yeah. the gamers. So, so Luke, when you're going back to what you were saying, you don't like long games. You like short games. That's the shortest game in the world, and you didn't even like it. So there, there's got to be uh, no. I didn't. Did you play? He didn't long say game. that. I don't think well, you was, heard. When you were talking about I, Call of Duty, you, you said like no game should be four hours. No, that's not yeah. what he meant. No, well, four hours is a ridiculously short campaign. Four hours. Yeah, campaign is now, that is short. short. So that's, that's what, what I was. Mean. That's what by it. Any campaign, any game that's selling you for sixty fucking dollars, the campaign okay. at least be like eight, ten hours. And that's kind of fucking stretching it. I mean, really, it should be honestly. Hours. Fuck. Yeah, most games should be like with plenty of side content and stuff like that. Like Spider Man Two, I've heard the main story is only about eighteen hours, um, which I've been playing for a few days now. And uh, I'll tell you what, Spider Man Two looks amazing. Swinging around as Spider Man is fucking awesome. But goddamn, nice. the. The story is like whatever to me. Like I don't really care. See, that's where they need to spend the money, so we can spend our money on a on a rightful product. Like I, I like a good story in the motherfucker. The story is whatever. The characters are like very hit or miss, and some of them are just like, oh, I don't. What's good the, about the, it? Social justice stuff. The social justice vibes in this game are very prominent. Like one of the yeah. first lines in the game like in the, one of the first missions you're fighting these guys like yes. into a club and spider-man's like whose bright idea was it to open up a gun club in the city oh i don't know spider-man you know who would need feel the need to arm themselves with guns in crime infested new york city where literally in your universe there's like a super villain attacking the city at yeah, like, like every why other... do you even need to be here spider-man but not only that, not only that, but wouldn't Spider-Man be like, but like, isn't it so hypocritical of Spider-Man to be like, hey, why would people need guns? Yeah, why, why I, do they need me? Like, I what the fuck are you doing here? <laughs> no, dude, I hate that they're even putting that in games, and I'm glad that I don't play them at this point, because that are sounds you? like it would turn me off, and I would shut off the fucking game. And, like, yeah, it wouldn't. Well, because I kept fucking dying at that point, so I had to keep hearing that dialogue over and over again. And each time oh, I'm no. like, oh, genius. No. Fucking, it's really funny, Spider. By the way, Spider Man's not funny in this game. Like, I haven't laughed once no. at any of them said. What? Um, he's and a sarcastic they- individual. And now he's not fucking sarcastic in this game. The and now they because make they him. They also uh-huh. make him get ass kicked a lot. Like, most of the time, he's getting saved by Miles Morales. 
because they really want to push this agenda that Miles Morales is is going to replace Peter. A lot of a lot of this game, I feel like honestly, I feel like if there was a person in real life that was talking to like Spider, like Peter Parker, they would probably say something like, "Oh, be better." Like that's like their idea well, of like what. Oh, what if Miles Miles Morales is Peter Parker but better? You know, they want to and, and that, they want a black yeah, Spider Man so bad. You know they have they, well, they, you know, they have this yeah, liberal black. podcast. They have this liberal like black lady who does the podcast. Now. They already had a black Spider Man. It's called Spider Man Three. Get over it, fuckers. Uh, wait, not- wasn't what was it? <laughs> MTV's uh, t- 2017 New Year's resolution for white people be better. Yes be better Ugh. that that is basically the message of this is like spider spider-man needs to be be better and then they start saying like stuff like oh, spider-man doesn't hang around poor neighborhoods spider-man that's where the crime is poor peter, peter parker, parker is poor a poor person who lives in queens yeah but like that does... wow. peter yeah peter so they're assuming that all they're assuming all white people are rich which is bizarre they're seem like miles morales That's, is i more hate like spider-man you. dude i hate i literally this is why people i always i always hold back this because people are always like i like spider-man joe what do you think i go i don't really like spider-man you know yeah. what i hate spider-man fuck miles morales fuck spider-man yeah. one two one. fuck them all like spider-man. Morales. fuck spider-man just take a dick in the ass spider-man and that cum web that you shoot i fucking hate spider-man he's dead to me That's now he's a woke, like woke like piece of shit Spider-Man. show Her. Yeah. Peter- what about X Men then? Do you like X Men? Uh, I mean, yeah. X Men's over. Let's so. not change. Let's not change the yeah. subject here. Once they uh, once they featured what's her face doing the Jean Grey story all over again no, no, in that no, no, last no, one, I stopped about watching. Talk about the comics, goddamn cartoon. Yeah, like, the old cartoon movies. in the comics. I the like Spider. I like X Men. Yeah. That's yeah. what we're talking about with Spider Man. Do you, like, do you like the original, like an actual just character Spider Man, not the new like the version, of not the new shit the old you've seen? Well, no. I guess that's a no. All right. Well, yeah. I mean, I can understand why you don't like Spider Man as a character, but I personally really do like Peter Parker, who is Spider Man, and it's yeah. really getting annoying that now you have to say Peter Parker because everybody knows Spider Man is Peter Parker. Like everybody knows it, and everybody knows Miles Morales as, let's face it, the black guy Spider Man. But the fact uh, that now that people, but people like literally now pretend, like are telling, like acting as if like, oh well, that's yeah. never been the case. Spider Man has always been. It could be anybody under the mask. People I mean, take, that quote, <laughs> take that quote no. from Stanley out of context all the time. When Stanley said that, he literally he didn't mean it yes. literally. He meant Anybody can view themselves. Anybody can see themselves in Peter Parker because he's That's a down to earth. Well, he was also, just a guy. honestly, yeah, he might have been it saying isn't... it like Batman. Remember in the movie in The Dark Knight? You know, he says yeah. anybody can be. You know, Batman's a symbol. You know that sort of thing. So, like, I think he's is he saying? That's kind all of, they mean. That though. They don't mean they can be fucking whatever race oh. you want to put in. Like People bullshit. Take that- and they use it for anything. Like if somebody criticizes, I don't really personally like Miles Morales. Uh, oh, you just don't like, uh, you don't like that it's a black Spider-Man. Get over it. Even if Stan Lee said that uh, Spider-Man could be anybody. It's like, yeah, Spider-Man, yeah, bullshit. it's bullshit because everybody knows Spider-Man is Peter Parker, just like everybody knows Batman And we wouldn't care if it was Miles either. If Jesse, they didn't Jesse, that way, how much, Jesse, how much cocaine have you had tonight? Not a, not a, I haven't had any cocaine in 12 what years. What about meth? Have you had any meth tonight? Adderall? No, not Something. in eight years. How about I'm just here? I don't know why. Is that not good enough? I could just disappear again if that makes you happy. No, it's not that you're here or not here. It's just like Luke was making a point, and every time before he could finish a sentence, it would I couldn't hear what the last part of. Oh, I'm sorry. I I apologize. It's all good. That's called Discord, not right there. That's (laughs) what I'm getting into the conversation. Not even. That's true not worth it because oh. you know what don't worry about it it's it's i get you jesse because i'm it's fucking bullshit it's it's just no, stupid no, no, you know no, 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 no. they're Sorry. making it uh, they're making spider-man into they're trying to replace him with miles morales and it's never worked ever you just look at the comic sales and nobody gives a shit about miles morales these these that's Spider-verse not true movies, 
That's not true. That is huge right now with some people, the Miles Morales it's, it's, stuff. The movies are. The comics, the, the mm-hmm. things that are oh. – the material, nobody gives a shit about Miles Morales in terms yeah. of yeah. comics. And what you, about you Miguel usually, O'Hara, dude? I fucking give movie, shit about Miguel all O'Hara. Movie, That's all the movies – Morales isn't even in his own movie. The big selling point for multiver for the Spider Verse is to see other Spider Men interacting with each other. I I personally think the Spider Verse as a concept is retarded. I think any like the multiverse is so overplayed and shit. But people mm-hmm. seem to love those movies. But I mean that's but people who are gonna act like Miles Morales is now like the big oh he's even bigger than Peter Parker I've seen that shit too where people are saying that it's like no he's not bro like people um, are acting people are acting like it's time for Peter Parker to be retired it's like it's <laughs> never gonna happen it's never gonna happen Spider Man My- well, it's like saying that there's another Superman and they're never gonna and they're gonna fucking when they when killed the- Superman they brought him back. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, it's exactly. exactly every time they've tried to replace Peter Parker or tried to replace like the big main heroes, it never works. Because when people... did Miles get introduced, like in the comics or anything? When when like, did he first get introduced? Years ago. Years ago. Joe, if you're gonna buy a Spider-Man fucking Spider-Man okay. toy for Finn, are you buying Spider-Man White Dude or Spider-Man Miles Morales? I mean, I'm probably gonna buy the original Spider-Man, even if even if the other Spider-Man was white. If the other Spider-Man yeah. was Brandon McCarthy and he was a white guy, I wouldn't want to buy that one either because it's not Peter Parker. That's good. Right. So wait, why is this such a big like? I thought this was like a new, new, new character. So if he was introduced in the yeah, 90s, it's new character in 2011. Them? No, he was released. He was re- introduced in 2011, but he's been yeah. very. Oh. Popularity because of recent movies. Um, no, yeah, but I, thought I heard someone say the '90s, so that's why I was I was confused. I think I said the '90s just out of fucking bullshit. Sure. It was, it was, uh, it was, a lot uh, of people 2011. don't. Yeah, 2011 is when he came out. A lot of people don't like his character, myself included, because he's very much just the tokenized version of what Peter Parker is. He's basically the same character with slightly with a slightly different backstory. You know, genius super nerd who's very polite but awkward around people, loses a father figure. It's the same old shit. We went through this this already, though, because there was a Spider-Man 2099, Miguel O'Hara. Now it's in the 90s, and that was probably another good Spider-Man that I fucking like to uh, read about. Was he black? No, he's he's... Mexican slash Scottish? Scotland? Yeah, is Miguel a black guy? Yeah, and the whole... Oh, the whole reason why Morales was created was because they were like, "Well, we've got a black president. Why don't we make a black Spider-Man?" That, hey, it's literally the whole reason why they well, created him was was president. for PR, was for PR reasons. The whole reason they made him black was for PR reasons, and you know, like to pretend that he he's an original, awesome character. He's not. He's Peter Parker 2.0, made for diversity quota, and there it's a, so, it's so evident. There's a there's a uh, what do you call it? interview with Stan Lee, and he talks about creating Miles Morales because, and you're right, because they wanted, and there's a market out there for a black slash you know mixed race superhero, and he talks about this in an interview. And then he's like, and then we're gonna make a Mexican, and then we're gonna make a black guy, and I was like, dude. What? <laughs> Yeah, Stan Lee. Stan They tell Stan Lee, like, we just want you to say, like, oh, we're we're making an inclusive Spider-Man, and Stan Lee takes that as, yeah, we're, we're making gonna have a like, We're gonna have bring a N words. We're bringing yeah. out the N-words. <laughs> <laughs> the G- G- out. Dre- <laughs> Dre- 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 Um, but besides the woke, with the besides, besides the woke Dre- stuff, Dre- Spider-Man Two. I I will say this. Swinging around New York in this game is fucking awesome. It really is amazing. And the graphic... We just spent an hour shitting all over the game, and you're like, all in all, the game's pretty good. I'd recommend it. I'd full send it. You can't say he's swinging around. I have other things in black. While it is... Swinging around is great. While the graphics are pretty, pretty damn good, although the character models are very wonky and there are a few bugs. Um, okay. And, the, and on 60 F, 
on 60 FPS, this is my first 60 FPS game. Um, looks incredible. But the problem to me is really the combat is not fun at all in this game. Yeah. It's one of these where it, it it's so busy. Like everything, there's just something going on on screen at all times that it's just like so like it feels like an explosion of shit, you know, whether it be noise, like somebody is constantly talking or somebody is constantly calling you or you're constantly getting an alert on the screen. And then when it comes to the combat stages, when you try to get off any type of combo on anybody, somebody is shooting you like 20 feet away with a missile launcher. And then when you dodge that, somebody's attacking you that you could, sh that you think that simply Spider-Man <laughs> would be able to simply dodge any attack that some fucking little girl is assaulting him with. But he can't, uh -oh. and he has, to, he has to do this stupid forced parry system that they try to add to the game that makes all the combat stages really fucking annoying. Because Are you, you talking to get about when they pause them and they have you pick something or choose something in the middle of battle? No, parry is like, so somebody tries to hit you with something and you have to basically block their attack and stun them. That I think that's the what? definition oh, okay. of it. What do, you mean, what do you mean by somebody's always constantly talking? Like it's the AI in the game? No, it's somebody either either you're like is always there's dialogue constantly going on like exposition dialogue, or oh, okay that you have to listen to while you're fucking swinging and battling. You know, I get it. Or you're getting called by somebody, or somebody is alerting you of something, and it's it feels like there's never a moment where you where you're just like ah okay I'm focusing on the on the combat or ah I'm just that's focusing. what I meant by the pausing like they they take you in yeah it's a thing for AD, ADHD people, or whatever they, um, people who say that the combat is just ripped off of Arkham are get are putting a huge disservice to the Arkham series because the Arkham series combat to this day is so fun is amazing is and it, like it's not even that like I want it to be easy. Like I I, I like a challenge, but when it, it's bullshit fucking like I'm dying because of bullshit reasons, or I'm dying because they want me to do this stupid fucking parry system that does not fit a Spider-Man game at all. Like why would Spider-Man need to like he wouldn't need to do that? <laughs> he has yeah, fucking dude. superpowers. I remember why like Assassin's he... Creed has that same battle style and. uh it makes sense in, in Assassin's Creed to like slow down time for a little bit and have him do a dodge or something. But Spider-Man is too fast. He wouldn't need to do that. He could just jump out of the way or whatever. Assassin's Creed. Wait, oh, I thought you were talking about Max Payne when he would do the slow down mode. That was fucking Dude, great. Dude, I'm gonna I'm gonna play that game. I've heard Max lots Payne? of good. About it. I'm gonna pick it up on uh on the game store on my Xbox and I'll play it. Well, you've never <laughs> played Max Payne. Yeah. Bro, that's probably no, like never... the last game that I fucking really, really fucking. I had that one, and then uh, I, what? The movie came out, and then they made part two. From what I heard, game. three. From what I heard, Max Payne three has probably the best third person shooting gunplay mechanics ever. And then Rockstar never did anything with it ever. <laughs> yeah, sounds about it's... right. Well, Rockstar it's... went. Fucking it's full kind blown of um... Rockstar though, like the amount of just insanely awesome games that they've made. Because it's not just Grand Theft Auto. It's Grand Theft Auto. It's Red Dead Redemption. It's Bully. It's Manhunt. It's L.A. Noir. It's fucking Max Payne. Hell, even their you're table tennis. Really good. You're forgetting, <laughs> you're forgetting Midnight Run, which was the I've first Rockstar that. Rockstar game that I ever played on PlayStation Two. And I was tripping. I was like, this game sucks. But what we could do is it's an open world. So we could just fucking do anything with cars and shit. So we would always be like. Also, Warriors. Building. The Warriors, yeah. Yeah. Uh, Warriors, I fucking never played it. I like, remember all, it out. all of these games are pretty damn good. For the, for the most part, I haven't played some of them. But yeah, like all of these games are very highly respected or talked about and are fucking really good and like the fact that people are saying that gta 6 is going to be trash to me to me 
I'm like, what the fuck are you even on? Like, you're, you you must really just be a fucking fake G troll. Oh, G the new GTA coming out? Yeah, do you know the, that fucking footage got leaked a long time ago, and people are still saying it's, it's going to be trashed? Yeah, they, I've seen the leaked footage, and people are acting like, wow, this is what this many years of development looks like. Well, first of all, that was really early test footage from, like, three or four years ago. Not even. It was probably from 2019, 2018. But anyway... But beside the point, the footage that I saw of that game looks fucking really good because if it, it kind of seems to look like it's using us like in the pre beta footage or whatever, it looks like it's running on a similar engine to uh, to Red Dead Two. Who gives when a the, shit? You unreal. Beta. Unreal. When the completed, when the game is done, the fucking the game is gonna look insane. The game is I gonna look it's insane. Gonna look like shit. It's gonna, it's gonna have gonna be 16 pixels. <laughs> it's gonna be running on um on the newest Rage Engine, Rage Engine 9, which is their basically oh, it's a Rage, which is a better version of the Unreal Engine. <laughs> rage it's Engine, Rage. Yeah, sounds like I gotta do football picks, by the way, guys. Yeah, I have those loaded up here. Oh, I got my football pick. It's uh, we start at nine thirty. It's um, it's the Saints. You know, starting with uh, the wide receiver Michael Thomas. Yeah. And then arrested on Friday for throwing yeah. a brick at a fucking oh, dumb fuck. Yes, he did. That's my yeah, pick. I know he did. I was like, that. That's the guy. That's my guy. All right, right I have the games listed up here. Uh, the first game that we hey, have. Hey, nerdy, is... aren't you happy that your quarterback and your running back are finally back? No. <sighs> No, they're awful. The they're Patriots both, all became both. Nazis in Germany today. Yeah, dude, they're okay. all... Maybe they'll fire Belichick and leave him there. In Germany. They, do. Uh, they play the Colts. I imagine if they lose to the Colts. Uh... Well, to, be, to be honest with you, the Patriots probably be even worse without Belichick. I mean, for as much shit as Belichick's getting lately, I like you replace, pa you replace Belichick with some fucking... New what new coach or whatever, nothing is gonna change. Have a piece of shit offense like it's we couldn't we can't fucking catch the ball at all. Like you you watch that fucking game that we had with the Commanders, it was insane. There was so many openings. We should have won that game, but instead we have nobody to fucking catch the ball. Demario Douglas is your number one receiver, and he's questionable. Fucking so stupid. So stupid. No one. I told Joe this. I was like, no wonder why fucking Brady left us. Like, imagine Brady had staying. Had on... with Randy Moss. You th you imagine Brady. Well, well, I mean, wasn't Edelman a receiver? Or was he a tight end or whatever? Well, you I don't know, know, he was a receiver, but you know what I mean, like a deep threat guy, not a. Yeah, I guess. I mean, yeah, Edelman was. Guy. Edelman is like Wes Welker. Well, then we also. Have... Then we also have – oh, wait, no, he was defense. I was going to say Butler, but I'm thinking more of that catch that he made at the Super Bowl. So you guys are picking the Colts to win this one? Yes. Colts. Yeah, yeah. fucking – Yeah. Cunt. The Cunt, I that's what I – Colts are going to win? What the fuck? I don't know the, who the Colts are starting at QB. It seems like Minshew. every week it's in – Yeah, Minshew. Uncle Rico. Uh, Hey, uh, Dirty, your thing is fucking, like, reversed. You gotta, you gotta... Oh, is it? Okay. Yeah. I'll fix that. Yeah. My bad. It might be on the, yeah. just RN. No, you're good. It's, yeah. Um, But, yeah, I think Patri Patriots lose. Unless they, I don't know, do some shit different. It is, it is Germany. Germany. Yeah, the game's in Germany, so it's going to be an early one. 9-30. Wait, didn't yeah, the we're Saints going... just fucking... Oh. Okay, no, this is the last game. Okay. We're going against the German schmoodle schloppers, and they'll probably beat us by 20 points. The Globenspiels? The Globenspiels and Skalbenschlubs. <laughs> it's Isn't actually it funny. Fucking, it, it is Wurstfest down here, so there's a lot of fucking German shit going on right now. Dude, beer is like, you can get a fucking 64 ounce Where of beer for like 10 bucks. Hell yeah. That big, a fucking German beer. Hell yeah, dude. I'm just kidding. Hey, dude. Dude. Well, hey, no, I, I didn't. I didn't do it. Fuck that. That's a just want to make ass beer. a quick shout out to the guy in the chat called the Stone Cold Grown Men Show, and he goes, 
I enjoy watching you grown men. <laughs> yeah, and I was, and I was like, yeah, and I enjoyed, I enjoyed you watch, I enjoyed watching him fucking make his channel six days ago. Awesome. <laughs> oh, God, I didn't even realize who it was until I looked at the fucking profile pic. I thought that was, uh, I thought that was Finn with the lightsaber because <laughs> it's so dark and there's that blue light. So I click on the fucking profile. Yeah, okay. Well, I was right about the space. We have the Browns playing the Ravens at uh, 11, uh, early first game. Uh, seven and two Ravens versus the five and three Browns. Anybody give a shit about this game at all? <laughs> it's, the, it's the Browns and the Ravens. It's like, nobody yeah, gives a shit about that. Not Draper. The Ravens. The I, I, I do give a shit about uh, Texans versus Bengals. That's going to be. Fucking, it's gonna be a banger after banger. Bangers. Ravens, are, Ravens are the most consistently uh, good team that never really does anything. <laughs> yeah. Lamar Jackson, after... it's like it's whether he does well or he does bad, and that's how their team. They, I've never like I've always seen the Ravens as like a game, like a team that could really, like especially when the the Patriots were good, they were a threat for us in the. You know the pre-playoff season. They have know. two Super Bowls, but then once you get to the once you get to the playoffs, it's like the Ravens just don't do anything. No. Oh, except God. for their two the Super Bowls. Night is in the chat. It's gonna be our year to go to Super Bowl game, boys. Wait, what the fuck? Speaking of linebackers, right? I, thought that was, I thought that was Meatwad. No. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> returning Meatwad. back to the show, <laughs> it is Eric. <laughs> Oh, but... Dead. Yo, I didn't Turn see it. the Ravens being down. Joe, oh, my I, mom's was done. that you or was that Timmy from South Park? Oh, that was uh, my that was my uh, my mother. She killed a bunch of people. Oh. <laughs> Again? Oh. Again? God damn it! I told him get them collard greens the right way <laughs> first time. That's crazy. Shout out with uh, Dork Knight if you would like to join us. We have some yeah. questions. For yeah, you. you've I, heard you've I, heard I, of I told him. you've heard of pyramid scheme. My mother is a pyramid. Oh. Right. <laughs> That's crazy because we just ran an Eiffel Tower on her. Oh, uh, dad was a tripod. <laughs> yeah, the divorce night is coming in. Probably, we'll see what divorce happens. night. We're calling you out, dude. You better come in here fast. Joe, have you eaten dinner yet? I, I've eaten my daughter's pussy. Oh! Uh, I'm Dork hey. Knight. Hey. Number 56. I, 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 I only ate the good daughter pussy. The other one... Uh, <laughs> the other one's ugly yeah. as shit. But, uh, the other one's a linebacker. By the way, I'm, I'm getting divorced again. I, I'm going to eat my, wife, my third wife's pussy. See, I, every time after they've had my dick for three months, they divorce me. Made the pussy be with you. <laughs> yeah, Made the pussy divorce you. Come on, Joe. Okay. I mean, that's don't, don't, don't bring up my my wife. I'm Dork Knight. Take my wife. My wife. You're not daughters. I found out uh -oh. that La is Mandarin for white boy. Or foreigner. What? That's okay. La Wei. We love you, Dark Knight. Come back. La Wei. 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 Yeah. Mm -hmm. what, what about La Wei? Wait, is this a fucking real? Sorry, I'm reading a uh, Luke Rojas argue with somebody in the chat. Dude, uh, is Terminator is Terminator having an anime series? What the fuck? Wait, is it? That's yeah. I just that's read it. I'm why? It yeah. What? I that's, that's what I want to know. <laughs> yeah, can I just Wait, so the they're era. gonna show they're they're gonna show the Terminator AI program? Oh my god, this is perfect <laughs> for Netflix and all the fucking. Uh, well, I mean the the whole SAG just got done with the you know the actors fucking strike and writer strike, okay. but. That's fucking hilarious. They're going to fucking make a Terminator AI. 
anime series. Well, I mean, who's going to watch the uh, who's going to watch the new la- Avatar of the Last Airbender uh, live action thing that they? Oh my god, released. there's a fucking tr- trailer, and I, you know what? I didn't see the I didn't see the teaser yet. Is it pretty good or no? You know, I'm not uh, really a fan of the series myself. I never really watched it, but it definitely looks. I'll be quite honest with you. A lot of the imagery, imagery at first, kind of does remind me of the M Night Shyamalan movie. <laughs> um, yeah. But it is. I think if you're a fan of it, you probably will like it. Um, I'm excited for the Yu Yu Hakusho Netflix show that's supposed to come out. I've been hearing about that one for like two years now. Man, I haven't seen Yu Yu Hakusho in a long time. God damn. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. It's um, you know Is that dude with the yeah. white hair with the, I the first few. I, I I'll say this: the last saga, the last arc, is pretty like whatever. When they go to the spirit world, or wherever it, that that's probably my least favorite in the whole show, and it does kind of like leave the show off on a weird ending, and it's just like, oh, that's it. But. I mean the Tagoro, you know, tournament the tournament of, or not tournament of what is it called? The Black Tournament arc is really awesome. It's not Black Tournament. What's it called? It's been a while since I watched it myself. The Dark I Tournament. Dark Dark Dude, I haven't seen that I, in like twenty years probably. No, yeah, around there. Maybe and 15, then the, uh, 16 years. And then the Sensui arc is awesome. I fucking love that. Um, really good show, really good show. I'm I'm excited for that one to get its own live action thing. I guess they're just never gonna do a live action Dragon Ball ever again. They can't. After they can't. Um, fucking Toriyama. Uh, will never let it happen again. After that last debacle, dude, with that fucking with Justin Chatwin being Goku, they're like, what the fuck y'all doing? Over Wait here? till Disney buys it, what? then they'll make the it gay is- and lame. Well, the thing yeah. is, that when you buy when you buy movie rights, and I believe this is every movie, you only buy about sixty five percent of it because you can't, yeah. And then you have to make it into your own to make it good. Like, like look what Marvel's doing. Marvel bought probably you know they're they're making their own movies, but they're making their own timeline of their movies, but they're calling it six one six. And I'm like, okay, whatever. Like, I, I don't even know six one six, and it's not even six one six. I don't, yeah, I don't think MC is, is technically a part of the six. I think the six one six is very similar to the MCU, but it's is its own universe in the comics. Yeah. It's the movie it, universe, and we had that with X Men two eight one eight eight one eight eight three eight some bullshit or sixteen ten with fucking Miles Morales. You know, it's stupid shit that I'm just like. Ah, I, don't even I had my first three from X Men two. Me too. Well, Stone Cold <laughs> Show, if you want to watch The Mandalorian without having to subscribe to, uh, what's it called? The uh, the Pedo, I, I, no, um, Disney Plus, sorry. Without having to oh, subscribe. The Pedo verse. Wait, yeah, without. Pedo verse. without <laughs> here's what you do you go to um, whatever boot li- a bootleg fucking TV show or movie site you can find and you watch it there luke, do, do you remember do you remember last year luke when people were saying that disney's gonna fucking uh release a dragon ball uh oh god yeah and and they they put out images i remember dan kenny's dumbass was like hey bullfrog is a moron I stand against you and word we stand united i stand with my brother filipino here. lives matter I just ate a blackie for breakfast right now, Luke Rojas Santos. If there's any black person that bothers you, give me the word poppy. It'll be buenas noches for them. Yeah, smile better watch out now. What? Some dick cheese. Just... No <laughs> cheese. Oh. Let's eat the backy. Um, <laughs> yeah, that's crazy. Whoa. I am fucked. Dude, I just Miles got hit. Dick would probably go for miles considering his ethnicity. I just got hit by a fucking wave of tiredness. Miles Morales, oh. the more like kilometers. Um, more like brownie. <laughs> more like brownie. 
more like you know, yeah. brown shit. <laughs> more, like, brownie. more like not allowed to vote prior to the sixties. More like a more like Mexican <laughs> smear black guy. More like take that white people. Shit, more like, man, it wasn't good. More, more like, like parole. Man. man. Do better. Be better. Miles Morales is cool. Peter Parker is kind of, you know. His first name black and his last name isn't. The fuck? <laughs> Miles oh, no. ain't no brand you never, you never, You've never known a Mexican Miles? I've known a Mexican Miles. Fuck no, dude. Yeah. That's way a black name. I'm I sorry. The first but time it's... I fucking heard that, I go, why the fuck is your name Miles? And it's so short. He's, ac- He's actually. Because I ran black. that far to get over this motherfucking border, bitch. Miles Morales <laughs> is actually. He's actually half black, half Latino. That explains it. Yeah. Half and half. Puerto Rican. That's right. Latino. Puerto Rican. Because Latino. The, the guy who actually made him said, I always wanted there to be a black slash Latino superhero. I bet he did. And this is the, so this I is the interview that I was talking about uh, with, with uh, Stan Lee. He said the same oh, thing. God. He said they were gonna. he was going to make different uh, races for... Uh, uh, your, your different faces. Your Meanwhile, he almost joined Germany in World War II. He was like, he's just lying. And I wonder why all these characters seem to really hit it off in the comics. It's almost like people don't just want to see the same stories with Peter Parker in them, but instead swapped out with a black guy that has the same personality, has pretty mm-hmm. much the same story, Makes go. Dad dies. He's mm, poor. Yeah. <laughs> you know, well, they should have made him a little different. The then. He's in. Is he in Queens or in fucking Hell's Kitchen? Where is he at? It's in the uh, game that two Spider Man. There's just two men in the game. Shit. In the game, they're both called Spider Man. That doesn't get confusing for anybody because everybody knows that they would be calling the OG Scott, the OG Spider Man, Peter Parker. They would be calling him Spider Man. And then Miles Morales, everybody would probably be like, oh, that's the sidekick. Wasn't Why not? His origin, wasn't his origin well, like he got bit by the same spider spit. and then they, and then he's been watching Peter Parker be a superhero? Well, so he is like Robin. Okay. Yeah, he's, oh, he's a boy wonder. Well, now in the game, they give him lightning it's powers. Spider-Man. They give him Thor lightning powers and, and give him all this bullshit OP hack hack shit so I they can be like, it's the same shit they did with Ray. It's the same shit they did with Ray. Oh, well, Ray's, oh, she actually has healing powers that no no Jedi ever has. Or, or she could actually be... She can actually beat Kylo Ren, an experienced fucking light uh, force wielder, despite the fact that she's never even picked up a lightsaber before. Like that's the stuff so, that just fucking gears. Not so wait, wait, you guys there's, 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 been, a, there's been a few. I think there was another Jedi that had a healing power. And, uh, yeah, I think, but they can heal themselves. To heal somebody else was, I think, that that whole thing where they just transferred it. But I get mm-hmm. it. Wait, so are you guys saying because like that the fucking the I've Miles been on wrestling guy shows was like for over his 30 years. Never in all that time have I ever felt oh. until last Sunday that my security, uh-huh. my safety, my life was in danger was at a wrestling was show. In danger. Yes, man, you heard right. The general has returned. I have been busy oh. depopulating the likes of AJ Adams and co. Wasn't it great to see that spooky gooky Bianca Blair get destroyed by my Asian bimbo Santos Escobar is my cousin well done. Oh my oh, god. What? That's okay. a black on brown crime right there. Or sure. the other way. The spooky gooky. Okay, yeah. Anyway, the, the damage control is pretty fucking hot. <laughs> like, I, I don't, mm-hmm. I didn't I don't particularly like the group, but I've always found Dakota Kai to be super sexy. I want her to choke her, choke me out of her legs. I think Io Shirai is hot. Mm-hmm. Kyrie Sane is really pretty. Uh, Asuka, you know, even though she kind of looks like Oscar. a clown. Yeah. <laughs> Oscar the Grouch. Um, and then uh, and then Bailey got that ass. Man, that she got yeah. that ass. And to answer everybody, to answer my question that I asked earlier, who's got the best ass in WWE? Um, I think currently right now it's Bailey without a doubt. 
without a okay. doubt has the best act. Do you draw? Um, I trust it. But I have also one of my personal favorites was Alexa Bliss. She, oh man, her ass was nice, bro. It I got to nice relook at that ass because I didn't. I she was so thin, I didn't realize. Well, now oh, she's not. Look, up, it's even bigger. Look at oh. look it up now. Look it up now. All that was right. The, Mickey Bick, uh, Mickey James called her like biscuit butt or whatever. <laughs> oh, dude, wait a minute! I gotta look that up. Man. I gotta, you mean even when she was? Because I ain't seen her in a long time. Even when she was doing her thing over there. All right. Well, no, she got a nice ass, and there was plenty of times where like, like her short would get pulled all the way up into like this like thong, basically. <laughs> All right, I'm taking a look. There's a website called Alexa Bliss's Ass, so here we go. Where no Rojas has gone before. I hope that I know which image is. <laughs> oh, that's not – that's that's no more impressive than um, that blue-haired bitch in AEW. Same ass. No, dude. Alexa's got that dump truck, bro. No, She's but so why are you – I got to look up more than because I'm not seeing it. Like, I'm seeing – it's all right for a skinny bitch. But Yo. it ain't like I don't. I wouldn't say it's the best ass in the company. Hey, Bailey, I, one got a beat. I think she had a damn good ass. But not every not every ass needs to be huge. That's the thing. No, no, like I'm I, not saying that. But it, it's just I don't know. I was expecting a little more. I was a little shocked that it wasn't. I think she's pretty big. You know, Rhea Ripley got a got a. Mm, got a yeah, no, yeah, she's got a, um, all She got a. Uh, okay, now that's a nice. Like, picture right there all right all right, got, all right. Wait, so what do you what do you think Rhea ripley's ass versus uh bailey's ass <laughs> bailey never God. shows her ass really but she got an <laughs> ass well she sits on three five fucking see. pillows it looks like problem, eh? i find Rhea more attractive than bailey oh, um, um, so i'd have to go to go with Rhea. all right now i see what y'all saying Rhea. she just it depends on the position with with uh, alexa I Anybody's can tell got, that now. Dude, Alexa yeah. Bliss is. Are we talking about? Are we ass men right now? Fuck yeah, I love. Well, I'm just, yes, but I'm just saying. I'm looking at these different positions they got her in, and her ass changes with every one of them. I just I've always see found, Joe's position right now when he bends over. I've always found Where's ass, that at? asses are much more, um, like to me, much more attractive than than tits. Not mm-hmm. that like boobs aren't attractive, but like I don't know. Until I, I don't you know, see I a mean, vagina. Wait, well, ill? No, I ill. No, I've seen a vagina. I don't know. <laughs> ill. <laughs> I've seen a vagina. It's not only that appealing looking. Like, yeah, in the moment well, no, when you have to well, put. I think he was thinking about wait, the, you the, the, the Jackson's vagina. Just wait. When you have to put in there, I'm sure it's like okay, whatever. It's like a necessity. Yeah, no, 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 there are there. some beautiful vaginas. They're beautiful, Luke. Not all of them. No, 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 no. Some of them look like a, some of them look like that Reuben sandwich you ate last week, and the other one looks like uh... pastrami on the moon. <laughs> some of them look, some of them some look of like them the demi for things where they like where he no. opens up the flaps. <laughs> no, we tried like, about the ass thing they're, though. They're they're they're, like, they're, they're they're closed more than the fucking Temple of Doom and shit. Looks like Predator's mouth. <laughs> I'm oh, much God, rather look, much rather look at an ass than a pussy. I mean, like well, I don't yeah, know. no, and asses are easier to see, like even through some some pants, some jeans. Like tits aren't oh, as man. easy. Like it, it is. Like I agree with Luke on the ass thing compared to tits. Like I'm asses an, are I'm always more of an ass man than a tit man. I'm like, an ass man. Bro, I'm, ass, I'm I an like ass man. man. I like to kick it. them and kick them and stick them. If it was between a chick with a nice set of tits and a uh-huh. dude with a nice ass, I'm taking the nice ass every time. Damn oh, straight. Fuck. See, that's the thing. Like, Even bro, nice how do you get your ass like that? I didn't, how can I get my ass like that? <laughs> well, I have to Stop explain this to beer. you because I grew up on 70s bush porn. So when oh, they God. finally started, so when they finally, oh, when they finally started the shit, bush bush and I realized what it looked like, I was, oh my God, look what's beneath this. Look at this whole new world that's opened up. So I've kind of been you mean, you attracted to that. Before? Oh, dude, the 70s fucking, I mean, Look like they had Carlito fucking down there. Fucking yeah, she buckwheat, buckwheat in a mm. fucking figure four. See, the only time hair is appropriate to that extent is if you really, really are in love with the person. Otherwise, shave that shit, That's bitch. All they had back then, man. That is true. Mm. 
Mm-mm. Your girlfriend's hair is looking like Omar Fakarani's head. Yeah. <laughs> Well, sometimes he's fine. I snorted on that one. No, Nora D, you're being a little bit of a scumbag here. <laughs> here in the cotton candy. It was hair. I'm sorry, Omar. I love you. Ooh. Free Palestine or Israel, whatever the fuck oh my you are. He'd, he'd be like, you free wrestling. I'm from he'd Egypt. He's like, I'm Muslim, you stupid bitch. <laughs> I hope that. No, speaking yeah. of free, I want to rest. I pray that the fucking the, the 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 airplanes come down on your house tomorrow. Hey oh, guys, geez. I'm gonna be going yes, to sir. sleep because I'm literally going. All right, buddy. But um, yeah, yeah man. I'm gonna okay. say this, and uh, yeah, let us know when you get that belt, brother. Oh God, we gotta work on that. I have one last word for everybody here. Yes, sir. Wow. Oh, Coach, Joe. Coach Joe signed it off. Oh, oh. <laughs> dude, I can't believe you didn't have that guy. What's it been? A month and a half? No, what the fuck? He only wanted like three weeks. Ago. I hope he throws it around a shower, Ron. It's been longer than three weeks. I think, dude. I think it's been like four weeks. That's what I'm. At least a month. I don't. Oh, oh, and y'all, y'all are complaining that he didn't have the belt. You know how long it took me oh, to get the shut fucking the belt? fuck up. Your belt three fucking months. Three and, three and a half memory. months to get the belt. That's what Well, happened. I'm still yeah, going to remember his reign more than yours. Fucking Really, dip. really, really. Uh, I, think I think my shit is burning your brain, Jesse. Come on. <laughs> no, I, I remember the behind the scenes of it, but I don't remember you ever having the motherfucker. Oh, because you were Yeah, Gargut's won it. He won it once or twice. No, he did do that one great scene where, like, he left, and on camera you see it, like, in the back. Isn't that right? Wasn't that what happened? Where it's like in the background and it was just there. Was that you? Yeah. Or yeah, that screen? was okay. That was when I unboxed it, and I was like, "There ain't shit in here, Joe." And I was like, "You, you gave me this. You gave me your fucking wife's. Uh, what do you call it? Oh yeah, you pulled out a knife, the, the corkscrew." And I was like, yeah. it, "It was the corkscrew for the one. You probably no wonder you can't find your corkscrew. It's been in the box." And then I brought out the fucking, and then I was like, it was a screwdriver. And I was like, and then you brought me your new corkscrew. It was just a screwdriver. <laughs> Remember that shit? When Joe was doing yeah, no, right. so You did do one good thing. That was fun. And then I, and then I walked good. away and I was like, there ain't no fucking belt in here. There was nothing but paper. And I walked away and then it was there. All right. So, so Luke, you do have to catch up with that because uh, he, he definitely did do one good thing. For the no, two days we had fire. Fire. I caught it on fire and smoked. Oh, me. no one remembers that. Uh, JB has more memory in that regard. That's even though it, he didn't. He did, he caught he caught a box on fire. I caught the actual. I agree, but it was still more memorable. That fuck. True. Tommy, you want to finish up football? I am. Um, I'm. I'm gonna eat. I'm too hungry, man. I haven't eaten yet. Tonight. Dude, munch out, I'm dude. Like, Are you away from what the fuck? Do not shit everywhere again on your couch. Wait, what you gonna <laughs> eat? Though? What are you gonna have? I got Jack in the Box tacos, dude. I'm You're so pumped shit. for him. I used to love your ass tacos. arrest, dude. <laughs> no. Wait, I literally, you got? I, I drove there, picked him up. This motherfucker right. wants taco. This is why he couldn't fucking handle the tacos. You should have taken him to Jack in the Box he had, then. He goes Fucker? to Jack in the Box for a taco. The fuck kind of white Dude, those kind are of good when you're stoned off your, your, your IBS. Yeah, it's, it's the only thing open right now. Otherwise, oh, I'd, I'd hit up like oh, Mikhail's mom, but she don't talk. Oh, oh. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I'm not, I'm not gonna lie, there ain't nothing open in your fucking state this late. Fuck yeah, yeah, other than Jack in the box. I yeah, no, Jack's always open, man. Great. great well, boys, I'm gonna get to eating. Dude, are you Gargut? So you're working tomorrow? Yes, uh, I'll get out pretty early though, because I we close. But you only need what? Early. How long do you need him to be there? Uh, twenty Gargit? minutes. Twenty minutes. I'll re- okay. I'll I'll DM you, baby. I love all you, oh, Joe. Love you too, buddy. You have that big, beautiful. Thing is, I want to do. I want to do. I want to do a. I want to do a cross stream to do this. So let's do I'm that. down. I'm down. Oh, up you go, Eric. Me. Gargutz, I love you. I will talk to you all later. Love all right, have a good, good night. night. Hey, uh, um, text and... me about everything because I wanted to know if you had more questions and shit or new questions. I can throw you some. I do. I do. Okay. I do. I'll reach out to you. I love y'all. Yeah. Have a good night. Love Big you too, love. buddy.
Dude, that'll be fun, man. Like, yeah, because you need what a couple of nerds sex? on that. Oh, dude, well, you're the only other nerd I know around here that can do that bullshit. So. I'll smoke y'all. Star Wars. Wars. Fucking... Next prize, you're not a virgin too, you fuck. Hey, man, right. I lost it. Well, that's that's Dragon Ball Z oh, shit. Virgin territory. If I ever that... ever heard of it. Well, luckily, um, I didn't tell the girls back then what I liked. You and shouldn't tell them that. <laughs> no, actually, God damn. a lot of. Oh, I shouldn't tell them now. But yeah, the I know, I know. know they're hot as fuck. They're, hot. they're, they're, over, here. Like they're over here. They're, they're over here fucking cosplaying, fucking trying to fucking... Doesn't mean they watch about the shit. They don't like it. They just they oh, want to look Dragon cute. Ball That's sexy. Cool. Dragon Ball Sag. Dragon Ball Sag. Yeah. Seriously, but I'm just saying, like, Dragon Ball it's Bang. anime, dude. And the whole anime thing is so weird because I fucking was there in the 90s, just and I was a nerd. And then now everybody's like, cool. It's all... It, it's all cool now. And I'm like, I don't care. Mm-hmm. I don't fucking care at all. I'm like, well, it ain't cool no more, but yeah, it's like the newest People. thing. It's like, it's like, it's like when you, when you watch your favorite band and then they become popular mm-hmm. and everybody loves them. It's all right. It, it kind of feels like that. So I, that's why I never really got back into anime. I was like, fuck this. Anime shit. porn is more important than that's all what, this other crap. I, like, got, I don't even that's like that. I got back into anime, bro. Fuck oh, anime. God. I hope it fucking ends. All of it. Oh, All the point Jesus is, Christ, Jesse. It's, it's, so, it's, so, it's so weird how anime is hentai porn. I, yeah, I don't care. And then you go to cartoon porn and you're like, do porn. you really want to see fucking Peter fucking Lois? No. <laughs> Nobody <laughs> wants to see that <laughs> frump ass shit. Mm-hmm. Peter and Meg. Peter Lois. Who's Peter Lois? Well, listen, oh, I got you. I think Peter and Lois need to hook up. Listen, boys. I'm gonna call this right, uh, call this baby tonight because I I fell asleep right. and in you my chair asleep? in my chair yeah, like an old man like an old person. Go to person. bed. He's He's like our me. champion. We'll, we'll we'll keep we'll keep recording. You know, Gargots keep partying, and uh, I'll know, wait, I'll wake up in an hour and be wait, fucked up. Wait, what do you mean? Are we staying on or like? What do you mean we'll keep recording? No, I don't know. I, yeah. I'm just kidding. I don't know. He, okay, he I'm just is, double checking. Hang out as long as you want. I'm just. Uh, I'll throw your link in there, Gargutz. Promote yourself for the first time in four years. Oh. Mm-hmm. Damn. He fucking went there. Someone's got to do it. He always does that. I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know about that. Yeah, that's why he's got eight fucking viewers. No, that's because people know who he is. And that's because people don't know who he is. <laughs> I mean, I'm, I'm not gonna say none of y'all are wrong. I'm just gonna say. Put your look, fucking link in there, you stupid fuck, before he ends it. Jesus Christ! God, I want to smack you. Well, I'm not candy going there. And fuck you up. <laughs> I literally, I just went. I, I told Luke. I just sent Luke a dick pic. Mm-hmm. Nice. Oh, yeah. Wait a minute. Where's mine? You piece of fuck. Where's, um, you think the Pats are going to win tomorrow? They would win in Germany now when, it does, when they have nobody. That would make sense. Germany. Exterminate. That is what they do. That's quite what they well. do. I mean, I wouldn't, I wouldn't doubt their fucking power, but. You know. Genocide in Germany. Both start with a G. <laughs> Germicide. Genocide in Germany. Coming to wrestlings.com this month. Genocide in Germany. Super chat. Can you can imagine AEW genocide. DID someone say I like hi. stillborn better. Wow, Randy Viper all this night and he just donated two dollars to because he heard hentai. Did he <laughs> really? Oh my yeah, god. He, he probably just sold a bag of dick or something. Oh. Alright, eat a bag of dick. Yeah, Eat a bag of dicks. The Paul brothers did the thing. Um, if you guys missed last week, bro, go back and listen to last week's show. If you missed the fight with Leah and Rojas, it was great. Uh, it was a lot of fun for me to listen to. Uh, I had a big, long day at work today. A real long day at work today. 
um, and I will because I got ridden, and I will see you. Um, I don't know Monday. I don't, I don't really. I don't, I don't know when I'll see everybody. Depends how much work I do. I cut my tongue a bunch. I know that my tongue hurts. Peace out. Shout out to D Wells, the top dono from D Wells. I ended up doing one shot tonight. That's crazy. I told you that might happen. And I was right. Go back and listen to the beginning of the show. I was right. One shot. It's weird. One shot put you to bed, I guess. Holy fuck. Peace.